we originally was playing some Dreamcast, but we're going to go with PS1 this time. Cain is deified. For reasons. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once. As were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more... divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow, until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. There was only one possible outcome. Eternal damnation. I, Razio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the Lake of the Dead. Cast him in. Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. Lost a lot of weight. I'd like to thank our Nomkin Patreon supporter, Jimmy Hatcher, for bringing you this video. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for the support on Patreon. You are very amazing to be doing that for us, and I really, really can't thank you enough. You are beautiful, fantastic, and amazing. Guys, we have quite a lot of $50 slots currently available on Patreon. Uh, I can shout out you like that, just like I did Jimmy, or I could shout out your YouTube channel, your arts, and put a link in the description. As long as it's within YouTube TOS, I can shout it out. If that sounds like something you'd like, consider pledging to our $50 tier. You even get a discount if you pledge for a year in one go. Uh, check it out. Uh, it'd be really awesome to get a few more people on that tier because I think it's pretty fucking awesome. Anyway. I want to do a little PSA here. This is a playthrough of Soul Reaver, a game that I didn't like to begin with because I find the second dungeon really difficult. But after the second dungeon, where you'll definitely hear some salt from me, I ended up loving this game to the point where I 100%ed it and genuinely loved every minute of it. So if you can get through my salt on the second dungeon, the cathedral, after that, everything should be so numb. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to give a little heads up there for the incoming salt. Uh, finally, of course, I've got to shout out our producer, Alice. She's beautiful. She's fantastic. She's amazing. Thank you so much, Alice, in advance for being the beautiful Nomkin we know you are. And uh, check her out via the links on screen right about now. Anyway, Patreon pledges, consider doing them. There is also a new tier 
where there's only one slot. It's a very exclusive tier where you can choose a game for us to play within certain conditions. Check that out. There's a uh, still available on the Patreon. I hope it will occasionally fill up where people want to treat themselves to seeing something that they'd really like to see from myself and Chrism. But anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for being beautiful. And uh, here is the full playthrough of Soul Reaver. Oh my god. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. All right, very, very cool opening there. This is Soul Reaver, a legacy of Cain. Um, I am playing the Dreamcast version of the game here. Uh, it is... One of my personal, like, favorite series of games, although the early games are very janky, guys. There are gonna be some problems with this playthrough. This is the third time I've attempted to do a playthrough of this. It's been a mess multiple times, but hopefully this time things will go down pretty well. We have been resurrected by this uh, eldritch tentacle monster to take revenge on Cain. Cain is a character you play in the first game in the series, Blood Omen. He is a vampire that has taken over the realm of Nosgoth. You are one of his lieutenants, Raziel. He gets jealous of you, casts you down in the pit, and now you are reborn as a soul reaver to take revenge uh, and atone for the deplorable things that you have done. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. Isn't that lovely? So this is the fast travel system. We can't really do anything with it at the moment, but we can need to activate the first gate by standing on it so we can come back here later on, which we're going to need to do. Um, just like I did for uh, the other Metroidvania game um, that I played recently, Cherry uh, Cookie Cutter, not Cherry Cutter, um, Cookie Cutter. Um, basically, what I'm gonna, what I intend to do with this is uh, cut out the bollocks. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of backtracking, a lot of looking for secrets and things like that, and a lot of things that I need to get to power myself up. But I'm not going to do that until um, on camera. Basically, I'm just going to cut out the boring shit. Focus on the main story. You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. All right. So that's our health bar in the bottom right, but you don't really die in this game. When you die, you go to you go to like the nether realm, and then you can transport again back to the real realm, essentially. So it's not like you can just drop dead in this, because we are like a kind of creepy eldritch abomination ourselves in some ways, you know what I mean? But essentially, um... Sorry, I need to get used to the controls for the Dreamcast. I'm not used to using a Dreamcast, uh controller whatsoever. Your wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. 
Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. One thing I'm gonna say is, um, the reason I'm playing the Dreamcast version is it's the best version of the game. The PC version's pretty broken, the PS1 version is like, a mess. So, uh, this is the best version to play. What are these? Stua, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls. Spirits who now shall never find their rest. These two can be really annoying really early on. Not because they're like super difficult to fight, but like... They run away sometimes, which is really obnoxious. When enemies die, you can give them the suck. Like that, see? Nom 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 nom, and that heals you up to full. Isn't that lovely? Alright, well those two are already dead, let's press on. That actually went really well. First time I did this, on my first attempt at recording this, fucking hell. It was a mess. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. So if we want to change here, we press the D-pad and then we cast and we change realm. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Yeah, so you need to be in the physical realm as much as possible, and the longer you're in the physical realm, basically, the damage over time that you take, essentially. Um, but maintaining yourself here is not the easiest thing in the world. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. So yeah, if you touch the water, you instantly go to the physical, the uh, other realm, which is a pain in the ass. Um, Duels in this are very fiddly, by the way. They're not they're not particularly fun to interact with. They often like don't what work. What are these creatures? Do you not recognize them? They go bros. They are the children bro. of your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Oh, those textures, Do you beautiful. The time stood still for you, Raziel. Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. All right. Basic goal of this game is going to be to I take on my our brothers. Weaknesses, having suffered them myself, physical wounds are fleeting. A vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. So yeah, you can't fight these in the conventional way. You have to knock them out and then do various unpleasant things to them like that. Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. So it wants you to suck a lot of the time. The problem with uh, this mechanic, by the way, the um, the throwing mechanic, is getting them into position for stuff can be a pain in the ass, and it will be a pain in the ass the further we go through the the game. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. You don't have to uh, get their souls, by the way. Like it. He's sort of saying, like, oh, you'll get drawn in is just bollocks. You only need to get drawn in occasionally, you know what I mean? Where's the, there's a place I need to put this, but I don't know where. Got to be a hole in the wall somewhere or something like that. Hang on, let me just do a big jump.
Where is the place I need to put this? There's got to be... Oh, there. I see it now. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, I did try playing the PlayStation version of this, but it just kept crashing all the fucking time. Um, I did play try playing the PC version of this, but it just kept crashing all the fucking time. Uh, this version seems to be by far the most stable, but I played through a chunk of it first without commentary to make sure that it was actually functioning. Um, this does seem to be a functional version. Like, uh, I could get to multiple boss fights and everything was fine, so, uh... But I wanted to make sure, which is why I've had, like, three attempts at recording this already. The Sanctuary of the Clans, reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the Pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's Empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet... I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. So, the big guys over there, they can only... You can't... Fledgling vampires can't be killed by, um... Uh, sunlight, okay? You have to kill them with weaponry, like this. And if you pull the weapon out of them too soon, like after they've dusted, um, they'll get back up again. So you have to make sure you dust them first, suck their soul, and then get them up again, basically. Otherwise, they'll be like, actually, I think I'm going to get up again. I get knocked down. But I get up again. One of my favorite things about this game, and especially the second one, which I hope we will get around to playing at some point. Hopefully we'll get around to playing the entire series of these, because they're they're pretty interesting. I think the thing's broken. Um I hope the second game has the best fertility fatalities. Fertilities. Stealth tutorial guys, watch me fail this big big time. Not entirely sure what I meant to do there, if there's a finishing move or not, but it's not that important. I don't need, I can't kill this guy at the moment because I don't have a fucking thing, so we're just gonna keep moving. Do 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 because there's no need. There's no need to kill him. In here though, these markings, these show that there's a teleporter here. Okay, so we need to go and activate this while we're here, otherwise later on we can't come back here, which we will need to. The big cathedral you were just outside is where the second boss fight takes place. So we need to come back here easily later on once we've killed the first boss. Just like any Metroidvania, by the way, um, you're going to uh, unlock shit as you go, essentially. Uh, new moves, new abilities. The first main ability we get in this is shockingly not a double jump, because he can already jump pretty fucking high for a Metroidvania, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know if there's a jump upgrade. But then the first ability we get is the ability to walk through um, uh, gates. So if there's like a portcullis with bars, you can walk through the portcullis, which is kind of handy, to be honest with you. There's no need to fight any of these guys, we can just keep going. There's no need to fight anyone unless we need the soul. And there's a weapon around to get it. This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Nosgoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. Well, that's where we're going first. Very close that was. <laughs> that was nearly a, a dead, dead, dead move there by me. I don't have anything to kill him with, so I'm just going to move on. 
do need to do some suck soon, though. So, uh... Ah, oh, here we go. We have to kill these ones, because we're locked in with them. <laughs> look at how grumpy they look. They're like, oh my god. They're like grumpy toddlers. Adorable. There are, there are going to be a lot more variants of vampires than these ones, by the way. These just happen to be the first ones we're going to fight. Uh, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it makes sense to you. See what I mean, by the way? I picked that up by mistake. And he's back up again. Because I'm an idiot. Alright, leave him for a second. Get a different one. And wail on this guy with him. Oh my god, I'm going to die here. Combat in this can be quite challenging, to be honest with you, like, unreasonably so at times. But, uh, usually you'll be okay. I don't know if the other souls around still. Doesn't look like it. How are you- Oh, I didn't suck his soul. I desolation. <laughs> they get some- wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. That's I funny. knew the hand that wrought this deed. That's pretty funny. I need the soul, so come here. Come here, beautiful. <laughs> oh! There we go. That'll do. Can I take these? Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright, so these ones are fledglings because their eyes aren't glowing, which means we can throw them into the fire here and have a great time. At least they can anyway. They're a little bit of sunburn, obviously, but it's nothing, cra it's nothing crazy. Problem with this is, like I said, once you, if you've got a bad angle, he just throws them forward, whatever happens, which can be a huge issue. Give me that soul, at least. Give me that suck. There we go. We're full, we're full suck. We're full suck. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's go. We've got another walk from here. Sorry, I'm zoning out a bit there. Sometimes the walk rooms are like, look suspiciously not the way that they are, but this is genuinely a walk room. Sometimes the walk rooms, you can walk through them to get to other areas too. Like, it's pretty crazy. Like, the sheer volume of stuff here. Uh, something else I want to point out is you can save the game in this game literally anywhere. And I have been special saving as I've been going through, right? However, um, so if I say save game here, right? Okay, I'm saving the game, right? When I load the game, I will start at the bottom of the chasm, whatever happens. With everything I've done up to this point unlocked, there is a teleporter at the bottom of the chasm that you can use to teleport straight to any of the points you've been at, but it only really makes sense to save when you're near a warp point, if that makes sense, because otherwise it's kind of a waste of time. It's kind of a waste of time, and it kind of is, is, it's not the best system, I'm going to be honest with you. It's kind of obnoxious. I don't like it very much, but it is what it is. I hate the doors. They don't open half the time. Have a swim. We don't want to go that way either because we will be uh, dead. We can use these as weapons to kill, uh, kill our buddies. Kill our beautiful family members. I didn't kill you? Oh, it's because you're... Okay, I need to put this down. How do I put this fucking thing down? I actually don't know how to drop shit. Could be a problem here. I need to kill you. Actually, do I need to kill you? Hang on, wait there. Oh my god, it's Y. Fuck me. Could have just got past this. I need health really bad, otherwise I'm going to the demon realm here. Not that it matters that much, but still. It's a minor inconvenience more than anything else. Alright. 
suck this guy as quick as I can because I need his soul. Good. Oh, I think there's another guy in this room. Or maybe not. Maybe there's less of a suck here. I don't know. Listen, sir. I'm very busy right now. Getting my ass handed to me by you. I think there's another one here. I heard a roar. I heard a grumbling roar. Suck. Quickly. Not sure that was worth it, I'm going to be honest with you. Lots of bumpkins here. I don't like it at all. Lots of bum bumpkins. This is not going well, by the way. But it is what it is. Opened a door somewhere around here? Yeah, here. Excellent. Progress. Alright. Sorry, I had to go and have a bathroom break. I have a pretzel in here with me now. Hopefully she's going to behave. About to find out. We're going to be dealing with a new type of vampire here. No! Please! Great voice acting by this guy. Holy shit. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Their scent was vampiric. But they gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. So these are another variant of uh, the vampire. Each variant comes from a different one of our brothers. Let me suck. I need him to come for me, because otherwise I'm not going to hit him. Might be in trouble here, just because of the amount of time it's going to take to get him in the fire. Maybe not. Give me the suck. There we go. That was a good, good suck. An excellent suck, one might say. Just a human here, but he tried to kill me, and I also get some health back from him, so uh, we're going to take it. This charnel house bore the unmistakable marks of Melchiah's clan. To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here interred? Definitely seems to be the case. See that sneaky little shit? What a sneaky little fucker going underneath me like that. Give me a soul. Excellent. I have yet to die yet, which is, in itself, relatively impressive, I suppose, but still. Looks like we have a thing to move here, guys. A thing to move. In a video game. Shocking, I know. Oh, just get- go away. I need to fucking pull this block. Come on. Camera is really not helping there, is it? Absolutely horrific camera angle there. Like, oh my god. My brother Melchiah was made last, and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal, his soul could not sustain the flesh, which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contain the underlying decay. Aren't they adorable? Adorable little numpkins, that's what I call them. 
just gonna run away from you guys for a second. Because there's a teleport gate down here that I need to go and grab. I'll be back in a minute, alright? Stay there. Do, 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 do. Very sneaky hidden one. This one continues on the other side as well to another passageway. I'm not sure if this is the right way or not. Where does this go? I guess let's find out quickly. I think this is the wrong way. We'll soon find out in a second. There are multiple ways the world's going to connect up and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, for the most part, we'll just wing it and see what happens. Obviously, stepping in the light, not good for us either, I don't believe. Get in the fucking sun. We get two souls to gobble down. Gobble, gobble. That actually might be the right way, by the way. I didn't realize this was a dead end. Hey, I needed the souls anyway, so that's not too bad. Yeah, okay, that is the right way. Oh well. I will accept it. Let's go. Definitely worth it for the full heal anyway, so that's good. Alright, Raz, let's go. I like Raz, as an, I like calling him Raz. Razzy, bit overly familiar. Raz is good, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it, it, it's, it's a good nickname. It's a good nickname. What we have here, though, is very, very bad. Hmm. Surprised that went as well as it did, I'm going to be honest with you. Quite sure why I'm beating the shit out of this guy. I don't think there's anything I can actually do with him in this room. See what I mean with the door animations though? It's just like sometimes it's just like, nah, I won't bother. I don't think I don't think so. I don't like it. Oh, we're gonna have a tutorial here, guys. A spooky dookie tutorial. So, we've reached the dead end here, right? So what you need to do when you reach a dead end, sometimes in uh, the nether realm, there are ways forward. Beware, Raziel. These wraiths are vampire spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm. When their vampire natures adapt to this plane, they become eaters of souls. Do not allow these spirits to re-inhabit their corpses. Where's the Nomkin? I want to play with him. Where's the Nomkin? I don't see a Nomkin here, guys. So anyway, um, if I stand in this, in the middle, I think I have to be like dead center. Maybe I can't turn- do I have to kill him first? It's possible. Hi, come on, fight me. Like, these things aren't actually that dangerous. I say as I start getting my ass handed to me. Fuck off. You might need to kill everything in the fucking room, by the way, to uh, progress it, so I'm not sure. But anyway, he's dead now. Right, now can I jump back to the physical realm here? Yes, I can. I had to kill the guy first. Can't do it when there's someone near. He might be. He's all shy. He's all coy. Hmm. Okay. We have to do something with this block from my recall. But I'm not entirely sure what. I'm not 
quite sure why this isn't working. Do I need to be over here? There we go. I did have to be over there. We need to push this block into this hole without me falling down horribly. Camera, stellar, as you can see. I don't think there's many cameras as good as this, I'm going to be honest with you, in all the video games. This is going to kill me so many fucking times in this playthrough, like, it really is. Or not kill me, because you don't really die, but, like, you know what I mean. Alright. we got some bullshit to do now, guys, okay? That was the first bit of the bullshit, by the way. Here's gonna be the second bit of the bullshit. Actually, not sure what I need to do here. I need to get this... I'm pretty sure I need to get this down the hole. But... How am I gonna do that? Definitely need to get this block over there. Can oh, can I do the thing, pushy thing over this way? Oh, I could just do that. That works perfectly. That's actually the best way of doing it. Hi. I need to kill you. I'm sorry. No, there's nothing personnel, but um. Oh fuck! You got you. Who kills somebody and leaves their soul in their body? That's just fucking lazy. I mean, that's probably what I would do. I'm gonna be honest with you, but you know. Get in my mouth, get in my mouth, get in my mouth before he fucking... Fucking asshole! I need to suck you so fucking bad! Get in my mouth. Right, you. Fuck you. Give me this. Alright. The sucking is, is okay now. We're all sucked. Okay. You over there. I don't need you for a minute. What I need to do is pull this all the way over the other side. It's gonna take me fucking ages. Br this is this is basically Tomb Raider with vampires, essentially, but with like a Metroidvania approach to progression. But it, this is essentially Tomb Raider with vampires. That's like the nicest way of putting it, I guess. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, by the way. Like, um... I keep forgetting I had to press the L button first and then do the thing like this. Ooh. How do I move it here? I can't move it here, right? I'm fucked. I know I can do it like that. I can move it sideways. God, I'm a genius. Puzzle-solving genius Minx strikes yet again. Where would you be without me, video game? Can I pull you this way? No. That's lame. I have to stand here and slide it. Oh my god, grab the fucking thing. And then forward. And then that should open the door back to the other room. Fantastic. And now we need to parkour all the way around again to get up top. But this time we can uh, get across to the far side, hopefully, if I don't fuck up the jump, which is entirely possible. This, by the way, first time I did this on, on camera, this puzzle... Took me like fucking like an hour. Like it, it was horrible. Like absolutely horrible. Why can't I teleport back? Oh, because I don't have full fucking health. That's why I couldn't teleport back. You need full jam to teleport. That's what it is. I was wrong. It wasn't enemies around. It was needing full jam. Which isn't that big a deal, because in the other world, there's, like, souls just flying around, minding their own fucking business and shit, so, like... But anyway, um, what you need to do here, uh, is jump up onto this, right? And, and when we jumped on the platform before, it meant this one got to a high enough height for us to be able to get across the room and actually progress. You guys get the idea. Hang on, this is wrong. I need you. Come here. Can I get you? 
What am I trying to push here? There should be some blocks around here that I need. Is it you? Are you the ones? You are, but the camera is not cooperating. Okay, so basically what we need to do here is match up the symbols in the walls with the fucking things, essentially, right? And, and, uh, basically, uh, th this game loves block pushing. Like, like, genuinely, I feel it is very much aroused by it. I don't know how I'm going to get these off, though, now I think about it. How do I get the top off the bottom here? I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I can do it this way. I can see completely. I know what's happening, guys. Like, I see completely. Where did I get the fire from? Alright, there's one. But now, this one's the wrong way, right? So we need to flip it until it's the right way. Which I'm not entirely sure how to do. We'll figure it out, though. At least we will if the controls let me. Okay, that should do it. No. Badkin. That's more like it. Well done. Well done. Well done, Raz. You did it. And this should hopefully open the door. We are making our way towards the first boss right now, by the way. He is pretty deep in this fucking labyrinth of shit, I'm going to be honest with you. But we are getting there, and it's not too far now. But some of the stuff you have to do to get to him is kind of crazy, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, absolutely obnoxiously crazy. Anyway. Alright, we need to push this off the cliff here. That's the noise it should make, by the way. It should go... Anyway. Hmm. I think I need to flip it. Okay. Uh, I remember what to do. This sucks. This sucks, but I do remember what to do. You know I said block puzzle? This, uh, this like, whole fucking dungeon, right? Melchior's dungeon here is, is all these fucking block puzzles. I'll be fucking glad when we're out of this place, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's not the best start to a game. This isn't a bad game, and there's some fun stuff in it, but this first fucking section is just like, do you like block puzzles? I do! And then proceeds to have 7,000 block puzzles in rapid succession. That's what you needed to do, by the way, to get up here. I could really do with some soul serum, to be honest with you. So, you want to take a dip? I'm going to die. Holy shit. I said that a few times now, and I haven't, but... Invariably, I will at some point die. That didn't count? I don't get a soul? Get in my belly! Jesus Christ. God, that was nearly fucking bad as well. I was like, Jesus Christ. Gotta be some bumpkins around here. Big lack of bumpkins, really, I'm gonna be honest with you. Might die here. Please die, come on. Bullshit! That is that is some grade A bullshit. Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, you. You 
fuck. Right, your little friend here can go in the fucking sunlight. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I don't actually think the sunlight hurts me. I wasn't sure if it did or not, but it doesn't seem to have done much, you know what I mean? I seem to be fairly, like, chill about the whole situation. Still could do with some health, so I'm gonna kill him too. The game constantly makes you fight in order to get health, because your health is constantly draining as you're going through the game, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if that's gonna be more bullshit later on, because, like, I got three bosses deep when I was testing things out. Um, and there's obviously a lot more than that. This is a long fucking game. It's gonna be like a 10 hour video probably. I don't fucking know. Maybe even longer than that. But first things first, let's go and pull this lever. I don't think I should be down here yet, actually. Back up we go. Back up. What is this? Hmm. Fuck it, we're gonna do this now. Maybe I'm right going this way. Alright, we need to get the machines in this room up and running now, which is a lot more bullshit than it sounds, I'm going to be honest with you. See, did you see that vampire on the floor there? When you see vampires like that on the floor, if you pull the stakes out, there's a good chance they're going to get up and be like, Hey, what's up, bro? And you're going to be like, nothing, don't worry about it. I think we need to pull multiple switches around here, I, I want to say, but I don't know. At least two, anyway. Music in this isn't great. Like, I know that a lot of people view the music soundtrack of this game as, like, iconic. I don't think it's that good. Like, it's alright, but I feel like the second game has a much better soundtrack. For those wondering, there are five of these games. There is Blood Omen 1, the first game, then Soul Reaver 1, this one, then there's Soul Reaver 2, Blood Omen 2, where you play as Kane and Raziel respectively, and then there is Defiance, where you play as both of them together, working together. So we have a lot of games to go if we do end up playing all of these. I don't know whether we will, but uh, it is down to audience votes and things like that ultimately, but we'll see. Anyway, this machine should be activated now. There we go. Need to kill these. Well, I don't need to, but I'm going to. I want the health. Give me the suck. Give me the suck. This fucking thing has lasted a while. Holy shit. Stop humping the wall. Raziel. Stop humping the wall. Oh, he's, such a, he's such a weirdo sometimes. Um, yeah, I need to pull this out. There should be a, a lovely already open corridor somewhere around here that leads underground somewhere. Which is what I'm looking for. But I don't know which one it is. We have to find it first. Which can be a pain in the ass considering there's like a billion of these fucking doors here that lead fucking all over the fucking place. I say doors. Doors is a strong word. Not doors. The opposite of doors. Drawers? There we go. It's this one here, I think. Can you fuck off? It's not that one. Where the fuck is the exit? Can you fucking die, please? I'm really, really... I'm not... Actually, I'm not that busy. I'm going to be honest with you. I was a bit of a lie. I just was inconvenienced by your presence, and I felt somewhat angry about the whole situation. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe we can keep this one forever. Where the fuck is the door? There should be a fucking door! One of these should just be a tunnel, okay? One of these should just be a tunnel. Do I have to run around every single one of these? Oh my god! Fuck you! You're going to just keep spawning? That's bullshit. 
That actually is bullshit if you do. I don't actually know if you do, but... One of these definitely goes somewhere. I've done this like fucking... This is the fourth time I've been here. I know it does. Oh my god. What the, where the fuck is it? I've been everywhere. Right? I'm gonna ignore this fucker. Oh my god, this is actually making me fucking angry. Here. Here. I walked past it like ten fucking times. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. We are nearly there. Nearly made a bad move falling down there, by the way. A terrible move, one might say. The worst move that I've ever made. I need to get up here. And I don't really know how. There we go. Alright. We're gonna do burning block movement here, guys, alright? We need to get rid of the supports in this room by dragging the burning blocks around the corners. As you can see, this is very contrived, this section. I don't like it very much. Like, it just feels like a lot of busy work to get to the boss. Which I'm sure other sections are going to feel like. But the next boss doesn't feel like that. It just feels like, oh, you're there. We're just, we, we're done. We're here. Excellent. Burn, burn, burn. Like I said, I am going to use a walkthrough to find uh, boosts and things, because if I don't bother looking for health upgrades and shit, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. Like, the game's going to get really crazy difficult as we progress. Um, and if I don't get the upgrades, the game's going to be super difficult. But I don't want to spend hours showing you everything in the getting the upgrades and exploring the little side routes and stuff. Like, you'll see the main story bosses and, like, the key abilities and things like that get used, obviously. But, you know... Nothing like crazy, crazy, crazy in terms of the backtracking. I'm not going to include that in video. I'm going to put on some music or put on a uh, an episode of Ram's Kitchen Nightmares. My favorite thing to listen to while editing. And, uh, you know. We have to do more pushing, by the way. We're not done yet. Crazy, I know. Basically, we have to push all of these now onto their fucking tracks here. I told you, this whole dungeon is just this. Nothing else. I mean, it's not as difficult, it's just like... Jesus, Raziel, speed the fuck up. I know you're a fledgling at the moment, you're like a baby soul reaver. A babu. A babu soul reaver. But, um... <laughs> but... You know, you gotta fucking fight Kane pretty soon, actually. You fight Kane like disturbingly early. Not that you're gonna fight, beat him, but you know what I mean. You do have to fight him soon. And, you know, it's not like. I don't know, I don't know the way I'm putting it. It's just a, it's just a bit of a fucking mess. Alright. Come on. We're nearly there. We've nearly done it. The hell is nearly opened. All right, first boss pathway is finally open, by the way. That was what that, that's what happened there. Oh my god. Could do with getting some health, I'm going to be honest with you guys, for anything else here. All right, before we continue into this room and fight the first boss, let's uh, heal up and then give it the suck. So we can go here and heal... And then turn back to the real realm and fight the boss. Um, hmm. All right, here's our first boss, Melchior. Is that his name? No, it might not be Melchior. Actually, it might be someone else, Jim or something. Keith, the mo least infamous of our brothers. Show yourself, creature. Do you not recognize me, brother? Am I so 
changed. Melkaya? Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. You awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last. To die. His face is literally just a massive fucking vagina. Anyway, this is a pretty easy fight. You get the idea of what to do here. We impale him twice. With these, to weaken him. Because he's an idiot and just runs in like a complete moron with the spikes above him without really anything. His main ability is he can phase through stuff, which is the ability we're going to get when we beat him, which is very handy. Oh my god, get your fucking fat ass in here! Jesus Christ. He's literally like a babu. Yeah, I understand. Just want to check something. Hi. Can you, like, come over here for a second? No, like, chase me. Ch ch chase me? There you go. You got it. Hold on. So when he phases through shit... the wrong one? Why isn't this working? I think it might work here. I wasn't paying Tell attention. me, Melkaya, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He isn't, actually. He's he the next boss. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Just don't, don't talk shit, dude. Like, oh my god, it's like literally a fucking blender, by the way. Blend? Does it blend? Yes, it does. <laughs> I've also the voice acting in this, by the way, aside from like the humans going, "Oh no," and shit like that, is great. Brilliant shit. Brilliant shit. I love. I love it. What a jammy jamkin. And that's our first boss defeated. Very, very easy fight. Like, there's literally like no way to fail that, in my opinion. It's like super easy. And we can now phase through bars, by the way. That's our new skill. You have done well, Raziel. Am I reduced to this? A ghoul? A fratricide? Elevated, Raziel. Not reduced. Consuming Melchiah's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the Spectral Realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. So now we can go to the Spectral Realm, like this, where we don't lose health over time, and we can get the suck whenever we want. I like to think that's Melchior. It's Melchior's bullsack. I don't know his name. What the fuck is that character's name? I wasn't paying attention. He even said it, and I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, we can do this now, which means we can like phase through and other things like that. Pretty handy. We need to go to the warp room now, all the way back the other way, unfortunately for us, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I don't know if we can actually get up here. I think we need to keep going this way. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. I don't actually know. It doesn't really matter too much. 
What matters is going all the way back to the warp room. <laughs> Um, what I'm gonna do here guys is have our first proper cut. I mean there might have been some beforehand if I got stuck fucking ages I don't know if I can't remember if I did or not. I'll have to, I'll have to notice when I'm editing the video But um, essentially what's gonna happen is um, we are going to uh, Go and get some pieces of health upgrades um, To make life a bit easier for us going forward and then I will um, jump back at the next main story point, which isn't actually too far away, but still, I'm going to take this for protection. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I get to where I am going, wherever that may be, because I'm not entirely sure where the fucking teleport point was, to be honest with you. I wasn't really paying attention, so uh, we'll figure it out as we go. See you soon. Health pieces. You need five to actually upgrade your health, but it means that I should be able to upgrade my health during the next dungeon, which is kind of useful. But we're now going to go and take on the second boss, which is Kane. Um, Obviously, not the final time we're going to be facing Kane, seeing as he is the main antagonist of this uh, entire series. But, um, the, the first time we're going to be facing him thus far. We're back at the cathedral near the start of the game right now. Um, took me a while to get all the pieces, not because they were, like, super difficult to get, but just finding a good guide for this is very challenging. Like, th there's a lot of bollocks. A lot of bollocks. <laughs> Like, a lot of them just make assumptions about what you're doing, like, way too easily. Like, they expect you to know the game, kind of, anyway. But anyway, we're uh, gonna be jumping into this boss fight pretty quickly. This is a very, very short section compared to the previous one. We do need to kill these fox to open the door, unfortunately, for me. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Good news is, I'd say good news, it wasn't actually that good news, but there's water all around, you really push me into there. Which would have sucked. But we can both go for a swim, and the door opens. Don't need to fight the rest of these guys, just can shift to Spectral and run through to Kane. Make life a lot easier for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> The main problem with the spe you, you think that being in the spectral realm is probably like the best thing to be most of the time, but it's not because the, all the fucking doors that you need to open you can't open in the spectral realm. So you have to shift back to the physical realm constantly to open fucking doorways and shit if you're going to try and be in spectral most of the time, which doesn't really work. It's just a bit of a mess to be honest with you. I hate it. <laughs> Like, it's nice that you don't die. Uh, you can also swim in the water when you're in the uh, spectral realm, which is kind of cool. It doesn't harm you. Because it's like gas instead. You can just walk around in it. It's where I found most of the items I needed so far. But anyway, here's Kane. Our second boss. Raziel. Kane. The abyss has been unkind. I am your creation, Kane. Now. As before, you criticize your own work. What have you done with my clan, degenerate? You have no right. What I have made, I can also destroy, child. Damn you, Cain! You are not God! This act of genocide is unconscionable! Conscience? You dare to speak to me of conscience? Only when you have felt the full gravity of choice should you dare question my judgment. Your life span is a flicker compared to the mass of doubt and regret that I have borne since Mortanius first turned me from the light. To know that the fate of the world hangs dependent on the advisedness of my every deed, can you even begin to conceive what action you would take in my position? I would choose integrity, Kane. Would you have done originally, though? <laughs> Look around you, Raziel. See what has become of our empire. Witness the end of an age. The clans scattered to the corners of Nosgoth. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. All right, time for a boss fight. This fight the Soul Reaver, King's isn't difficult, ancient but it's blade, 
older than any of us and a thousand times more deadly. The legends claimed that the blade was possessed and thrived by devouring the souls of its victims. For all our bravado, we knew what it meant when Cain drew the Soul Reaver in anger. It meant you were dead. Well, we're going to be getting the Soul Reaver. So, if Cain hits you in this fight, you immediately go to Spectrum. It's a one hit kill. And you have to immediately get out again. Which isn't that big a deal, it's just a bit annoying. Because until you've got a hang of where he is and like the situation, you can instantly get teleported back. See, like I hit him there, you have to hit him like five times. Did he just teleport back in the same place? No, he didn't. That's the sound fucked me there. But I'm doing damage to him, that's two hits already. Like, there's nothing crazy here, it's just a little bit obnoxious, to be honest with you. And the fucking... Spectres are kind of annoying. I think... I, I actually think the Spectres probably can kill you, right? Like, they can, t they can give you a game over, but I don't know if I've ever experienced it before, so I can't... tell you. Again, such that that's where the fight's bullshit. I had no idea where he was then, obviously. There was no way of knowing where he was. And it's just gonna be a bit lucky whether or not I can beat him in any period of time that's like. You see, what am I supposed to do against that? It automatically tracks you, you can't possibly avoid it. So I've just gotta fucking come to this fucking realm a billion fucking times and hope that he's next to me when I come back out again. He is, it's to my left. There we go, three hits, not five. Not too bad, but just fiddly. I don't like it very much. There's much better boss fights in the game. The blade is vanquished, so it unfolds. Wow. And we are a step closer to our destinies. <laughs> what a bumpkin, huh? I swore I saw a glint of satisfaction in Kane's eye when the Soul Reaver was destroyed. I did not understand the game that Kane was playing, but I knew the finishing move. So we now From get our next moment and break ever break. afterward, you and this blade are inextricably bound. Soul Reaver and Reaver of Souls, your destinies are intertwined. By destroying the sword, you have liberated it from its corporeal prison and restored it to its true form, a wraith blade, its energy unbound. No longer a physical blade, it can only manifest itself in the material realm when your strength is fully restored. Once manifest, it will sustain you. What are you, little soul? Hi there, how's it going? Another of Cain's creatures come to taunt this bound spectre. I did not intend to disturb your rest. Rest. A body is needed for sleep. Flesh and bones are required to recline. No, child. All I may do is watch and remember, ceaselessly conscious as this wretched world's history skull. unfurls. Ghastly past, insufferable future, are they one and the same? Am I always here? How have you come to haunt these pillars? Cain refused the sacrifice. The pillar of balance, corrupted to its core, stands as a monument to his blind ambition. Now these pillars serve only to bind me here, 
my prison and eternal home, thanks to the avarice of your master, Cain. That bastard can claim no allegiance from me. Then we share a common foe, Raziel. Return here when you have need. Ariel remembers what others have forgotten. All right. I didn't mean to do that. Far in the eastern mountains, a stifled titan stands in mute surrender, unwilling host to a parasitic swarm. Well, that's our next destination, which is the Silence Cathedral. It's a lovely place, as you can tell by what she just said. Gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic. <sighs> Do I have to be in corporeal form to use it? I can't fucking remember, to be honest with you. I can open doors now that require the Witchblade to open. Wraithblade, sorry, not Witchblade. Witchblade is the anime with the girl with huge boobs. That's how I remember my anime. <laughs> anyway, um, now we can get through, yes. All right, um, we're gonna go to the start of the next area. And that's gonna be the end of my first recording session because I've gotta, gotta go shopping, guys. Exciting stuff, I know. The life, and, the life of Minx is a never-ending roller coaster ride of excitement from beginning to end. But there is also a uh, a teleporter right by the entrance to the next section of the game. So we're going to go and unlock that now. It's not very far away, so we can do it all in one go here. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? That was my attempt, by the way, at a British Northern accent. I'm very sorry if you're uh, Northern and you're watching this video. Not for the accent. I'm just sorry that you're Northern. Tee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> That's the, that's the big British feud, guys. North and South. All right, anyway, let's uh, continue, shall we? I just realized I need to go back to the fucking thing. Oh, no, I don't. Do I? Can I open this with the Witchblade? Can I open any of these with that? I'm going to call it the Witchblade constantly, even though that's not what it's called. Okay, just so you know. Just so you know, like, I'm going to call it that. Based largely just on ineptitude on my part, I'm going to be honest with you. But yeah, we don't have very far to go. Uh, I don't know if it's if I can get to it from this bit, but we'll find out very shortly if I can or not. Um, Your brother Zephon's keep Zephon lies far to the east, way. beyond the ruins that greeted your first exit from the underworld. He and his brood have cocooned themselves in a derelict cathedral, having murdered its human guardians. Uh, actually, murder is a legal term. And are vampires bound by the legalities of men? I don't know. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, the next dungeon is in the sex themed. Um, the uh, the vampires of this brood have taken on a creepy crawly form. I think is the is the nicest. That's a that's a very nice way of putting it, by the way. Very generous way on my part of putting it. They they're not nice, um, and we're going to go and uh, hang with them in a second. It's so the room where we fought the vampires for the very first time. Exciting stuff, I know. If I fall in the water here, you won't die, it's just annoying. Because you have to fucking get souls and then get out and... Oh, can you open the fucking door, please? Instead of swinging at it. Jesus Christ. Alright, anyway. Nearly there, though. Already. I told you it wasn't far. It's a nice, relaxing stroll. So this is where we got our tutorial on different dimensions. Um... Oh, yeah, by the way, this here... We learn, like, a gargoyle wall climbing type thing eventually, but we can't do it at the moment. Uh, that's another skill that will unlock a bunch of fucking collectibles and health upgrades for us and stuff, which is going to be really handy later on. I don't know which one we get next, I can't remember, but we're going to the cathedral now anyway. It is through this beautiful door. I actually found this purely by chance the first time I was playing. I got so lost. Like, tr like I say, trying to find a walkthrough for this game that isn't just garbage is really fucking difficult to do. And, um, yeah, this is the Cathedral itself. I know it doesn't look much like one, but it is, I promise. Uh, but we need to shift back here and unlock the teleport point first, otherwise this is all a waste of time. There's going to be some bumpkins, some human bumpkins around here. Who are probably going to kill us, I'm going to be honest with you. They have guns and shit, the humans in this. There's a lot more fighting humans in the first game, in the second game, than this one. 
because uh, like the humans are like an established faction in like the second game, whereas here they're kind of just there. Ooh. You know, I do really need the health from these guys though, so uh, forgive me for murdering you brutally, but gobble, 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 gotta do it. And here's our uh, teleport point. to teleport back here. When we start the game again, like I said, we'll be uh, at the bottom of the abyss. But with this unlocked, we can just go back here whenever we want. Which is very, very handy. To be honest with you. I'm gonna unlock the door. Let's, say. Let's, go and unlock. Let's go and unlock the door. Let's give it a nice, a nice little, a nice little witch blade. Wraithblade, whatever, that's what we need to get in, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't, to, you wouldn't have had to beat Kane first, you could have just come straight here and done it. But you do need to beat Kane first, because you need the Wraithblade to get into the building. I say building as well. From this angle it looks kind of building-y, but like, when you're seeing the outside of it, on the PS1, it looks, it just looks like a turd, I'm gonna be honest with you. Why is this not working? Where's my sword? Hang on. Where the fuck is my sword? What? Where the fuck is my sword gone? Why isn't it here? Oh, come in. Do I need to be full health for it to be usable? It might be the case. That actually makes sense. Let's test this theory out. I probably need to be full health. I panic jumped. Yeah, I do. Let's open this up. And here is the Silence Cathedral, which is the next dungeon of the game. And this is a perfect point for us to wrap things up, because we can just teleport back here, shift and run through the gate, and have a wonderful time. Anyway, thank you for watching this bit, and we'll continue with more Soul Reaver in this very video. For you, it'll just be like a second. For me, it's going to be like, I don't know, a year. It's a new dawn and a new day for me, but for you, it is just another day. We are playing more Soul Reaver for me, and we're going to enter the cathedral now, which is a long area. We're going to be here a while. Hmm. I think we need to, before we do anything else, shift back to the real world. And get exploring. So these are our brethren's vampires, uh, his vampires here. They are our souls, by the way. Um, but again, I like the designs of the enemies in this. Um, his, uh, I can't remember what the fuck his name is, but uh, his, his like creatures are just fucking horrible. Insecty is the right term for these creatures. This is the whole theme of this. So, we have some more crazy platforming to do here. It's, there is a lot of platforming to do in, in this section and it's gonna be a pain in the ass to do. You see, you see the climbing things here? These things, by the way, we can't, we can't actually kill them at the moment. So I don't know why I'm like fucking around here. We need to climb up here is what I'm looking for. But we can't kill anything because we don't have any abilities to kill them with. You can kill them if you're lucky with the Wraith Blade. But, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's kind of a waste of fucking time. Um, however, unfortunately for me, I just- I took mad damage doing that, so that's not good. So we may die anyway here and have to shift back to the, uh, the spirit realm as it were. But that's okay, if that happens, it happens, you know. I'll take this. May actually be able to kill- oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck me, that was close. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm trying to remember where the fuck I need to go now because it's really, really fucking confusing. Oh my god, okay, um... Hmm... I 
I don't know if this is the right roof I needed to go on or not. Oh, it might be. It might be, but it's going to be clutch if it is. Fuck me. It is not. It was not the right roof. I went to the wrong one. I went to the wrong one! That's the roof I started on. This area is very confusing. I'm going to have times in this playthrough, guys. I'm going to be real with you guys. Where uh, it's going to be incredibly difficult for me to tell where I'm going. Because the level design in this is... Old school. I think that's the polite way of putting it here. The polite way of putting it would be old school. Um, I'm not even sure if this is the right way, to be honest with you, but hey, at least we made it up here, right? Let's just see what happens. Hopefully I'll be fine. Look, they're putting people in the webs and shit. It's pretty fucked. really need your soul, dude. God, it sounds like he's gargling cum. Not that I would know what that sounds like, obviously, but, you know. Theoretically, if I did, that's what it would sound like, okay? <sighs> nice save by me there, you know what I mean? I have no idea where I'm going right now, by the way. I'm just panicking a bit. This looks promising. Once a testament to mankind's defiance of Cain's empire, this towering cathedral now stood derelict. The humans who worshipped here, dead for centuries. Its architects conceived this tower as a holy weapon against the vampire menace, a colossal instrument of brass and stone. The cathedral's pipes, once tuned to blast a deadly hymn, now stood silent, and these vacant spaces whistled their impotence. We're gonna be fighting some humans in this section, by the way. I, mean, I was like earlier, I was like, there's not much human fighting in here, but there actually is some human fighting. Let's heal up to full while I'm here. I I did mean to shift to the spirit realm, by the way. We need to climb up to the higher floor, and the only way of doing that is to bend the pipes so that you can actually get up here, if you know what I mean. I did I I, I promise that was intentional. All right, now angle myself. God, I have no idea where I'm going, as usual in this fucking game. All right, I think we're going over here. I think. No, we're definitely not. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Definitely up here. This looks promising. Hooray! Progress, probably. Okay, all right. Do I want to go through this door? No, there should be like a switch around here, I think. Yeah, there it is. A switch, guys. Oh my god, I may I remembered. I remembered. Hello, little switch. How you doing? Hmm. I think there's another door around here. Yeah, let's go in here. We're gonna go through here for now. Do -do -do -do. Nice little stroll through. I will say, this cathedral looks suspiciously like everywhere else in the game. Like, it's not very cathedrally. That's my main gripe. A lot of the environments in this do look the same. You're gonna be dealing with a lot of, like, PlayStation era sort of, like, uh, browns, you know. Uh, we have to kill everything in this room, by the way, but we need to shift back to the material realm first. First, we have to do this. It's going to be an interesting fight in here. I might die. Because we've got an adult and we've got fledglings. Don't know why I killed him in the corner like that. That was a terrible fucking idea. I am fucked here. Holy shit. The, the, this is a gangbang situation. That doesn't count as a spike? Where's the spike? Is there any way of killing them in here? Actually, genuinely, I don't know. I can't see any way of killing them in here. That's a problem. 
I understand the puzzle in this. Oh, th th those are spikes. I just guess I hit them too low. God, the problem is aiming them at this shit. Especially when there's another one hitting you. And here, guys, you see the biggest problem with this game, by, by the way. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, this is actually impossible to kill them te levels of territory right now. And there's not one in this corner where I'm throwing him. Oh, there is. There is. Suck. Suck. Stay alive. Hell yeah. Kind of. It's not great, but it's the best situation we've got here. All right. Th no, no. Leave me alone. I need to throw this guy into the spikes desperately. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Nearly there. He's too fucking close. That's the problem. Yeah, I was gonna. There's no way I'm fucking winning this fight. I mean, it's very easy to come back, but it's really annoying, as you guys can see. And that is going to be a recurring theme with the combat. If there's more than one enemy and you have to kill them in a certain way, it gets bullshit. Like, it gets really, really annoying. Like, not fun annoying. I mean, there's no such thing as fun annoying, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I accidentally killed the wrong one. You can kill with this blade if it's fully charged, but if you take a hit, you obviously can't do that, so you're kind of fucked, you know what I mean? All right, so we need to finish the pictures on the wall here, which is is easier said than done, because they require you to actually be able to be semi-competent. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that, fuck. That's what I was trying to do. Because I need to scoop it up into the wall. If I'm gonna do it. <sighs> this is gonna be such a fucking chore. It really is. Like, this this, this puzzle does suck dick. One of the worst in the game, now I think about it. I can't think of any redeeming features for some of the puzzles in this game. They're just dog shit. Just designed to waste your fucking time. Alright, that's in the right place now, but we need another block to pull across to do this. By the way, uh, more enemies are going to spawn while I'm doing this puzzle. It's a roller coaster ride of fun, I know. I didn't mean to do that, but the camera deserted me. Uh, as usual, I mean, the camera in this is dog shit. Alright, okay. Good news is, we're getting there already. And I'm not a complete dumbass when it comes to this. Because I've already done it three fucking times. <laughs> in the hole we go. Hooray! Okay, that's one done. One and done. Alright. Alright, now we need to tell where the fucking things go. I'm pretty sure this one here needs to go over there. So let's do this one first. Just need to flip it enough times for it to be... Right, which... Shouldn't be too hard to do. There you go. I think that's it already. Surprised more vampires have normally spawned in by this point, but they don't seem to be doing it. I mean, I'm okay with that. Alright. Is that right? Yeah, that one's right. Okay, let's do... Oh, yep, yeah, now it's time. Get fucked. Alright. Having the blade is very useful, I will say. Nearly. This is an easy one. Assuming this is the right hole. I actually don't know if this is the right hole for this one. Can you fuck off? I'm really busy right now. I've lost the blade. Great. In a really shit situation now. Might be alright. Apparently not. 
Oh my god, that's such bullshit! Like, the fucking spike is up there, what am I supposed to fucking do? Get up there, you fuck! Die! Can I not throw it on one that's been spiked already? I just, I don't even mean to- You can't aim, by the way, it's just like, it's a straight line from wherever you are that they will fucking do this from. Okay, this is dog shit. I am right next to this fucking spike. Thank fuck for that. Suck a dick, Vampire Chan. Suck a dick. Fucking hell, that was garbage. Alright, I think... Is this the right one? I'm not sure it is, but we'll... Oh no, it's definitely not. I need to flip it more. Like, it's upside down. No, Raziel, stop humping the fucking thing. I know it's exciting. Alright, that is the right way around. I say as like glitch on top of it for some fucking reason. Oh my god, Raziel. Grab the fucking block. Now. Jesus Christ. The controls in this are just like, nah, I don't wanna bother. The problem is there's there's a lot of like um contextual things in the game, and because of that, you accidentally can do the the wrong thing a bunch. You know what I mean? Anyway, this isn't too bad. I'm complaining a bit, but it's just because it takes fucking ages. This is the sort of thing that, that really triggers my ADHD, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I might as well just flip it till it's in the right place, right? So we need, like, uh... I can't see what the fuck I'm looking at. Where the fuck is the fucking design? Is it on the bottom? That doesn't make any sense, because I just flipped it, right? Okay, let's get it closer, because I can't picture it in my mind right now. Alright. I don't know how to do this. My brain is just not engaging with this whatsoever. Which sucks, because the more fucking thing, the longer I take, the more chance I have of fighting fucking a bunch of these dickhead fucking vampire things. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Is that right? Fuck off! I'm fucking busy! I'm trying to solve a fucking dickhead puzzle, and you fucking pricks! Fucking keep interrupting and you're gonna fucking kill me and I have to throw you on the stupid fucking spikes which take 20 fucking minutes. Fuck off! There'll be another one any second now, by the way. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble figuring this out in my head, but I really am. And he's just humping it instead of doing the right fucking animation because you can't get in the right position very easily. I think, I think this is it. Grab the fucking rock, dickhead. I'm not in the mood for your shit. Yeah, this is it. It feels like one of his hands is missing, but whatever. We did do it. Jesus Christ. Alright, we need to get the fuck out of here now. Holy shit, what a terrible fucking room this is. I hate it. I hate it! This is what Soul River does to me, guys. I need to be human again, unfortunately. I hate the fact I have to go through a door here to do this. I need to stop complaining. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a good kin. I'm gonna be a really good kin, okay? We did survive that room, eventually. After much, much kerfuffles. So very, I don't like that word very much. I don't know why I said it. Alright, now we need to go back to that door that we previously saw on the way around. Without falling off, which is easier said than done, considering I'm clipping through shit right now. Where is the door? Should be around here, I think? Yeah. Okay. I actually don't know where I'm going right now. Let's go. Might just go down to an identical room, I'm not sure.
Let me kill as many of these fuckers as possible. This is the right room. But unfortunately, I lost my fucking health. Oh, I can't pick up this fucking weapon. There we go. Fuck you. That's right, gurgle it. Gurgle it! <laughs> Not until oh that's a person. I was like, who the fuck is this? What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I got a lot of these in place. I do vaguely know what I'm doing, I promise. We can now fly upwards into the bell tower, isn't that lovely? By the way, I will say, you know, um, the humans are attacking me, essentially, right? I want to point out that the only reason they're attacking me is I killed one of them early on. If you don't actually attack any humans throughout the whole fucking thing, then um, you actually, they actually won't attack you. But I'm an enemy to them now, so it's great. That's completely my fault, by the way. It's nothing to do with the game. Like, I, I, I knew what I was doing. I was committed. Speaking of humans, I think we're going to be dealing with them right here. Yeah, see? I will say, they're not the biggest threat in the world. Especially when you have the Wraith Blade. You alright guys? You alright? You alright? Just gonna go up here and uh, ignore you guys and shift back. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, we got another block puzzle, by the way, which is absolutely great. Oh, there's weapons in here. At least that's something. Let me get the fucking weapon, dickhead. I was gonna say, if you don't eat that, Raziel, we're gonna have fucking words, alright? You can tell he's in trouble, by the way, because I used his full name instead of just calling him Raz. It's like when his mum's grumpy with him. I have to kill these guys because I've got to do the fucking block puzzle and they're going to just leave me the fuck. They they'll just constantly harass me while I'm doing it, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, first things first, we need to get all these blocks separated. Which again is completely fucking unnecessary if you ask me, but there we go. Are we going to do it? Camera, cooperate. Thank you. All right, so, God, what am I looking at here? All right, I, I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't actually understand this puzzle. I, I don't know how I did this last time, but I will do it, I promise. All right, so this one has, how many holes? One, two, oh, this is three. So I think if I put it in here, this should work. Let's see if it clicks. Hooray! Okay, good. Right. Hmm.
Right, so this one has a tour. Which means it will fit over there. I think. It just has to match- Oh my god, Razzie, grab the fucking block. Don't just jab the air. Alright. Right, that's just- is that just one-sided? Oh my god, camera, 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 camera. It's cursed. It's absolutely fucking cursed. This one will go over there, I think, and into that, just- No, it won't do. Oh my god! I'm trying to solve a fucking puzzle, dickheads! Fuck off! I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you fucking spidery pricks. So much. I'm gonna die here, because I can't fucking move. I'm getting gangbanged. Eat it. Pick up the thing! Having attack and pick up is the same thing as the worst crime this game ever made. Get in the fucking mouth. Jesus Christ. Fucking arsehole. I'm trying to solve this fucking puzzle. And this dickhead. This one goes over here. Thank fuck for that. Jesus Christ. What an arsehole. Alright. No idea if this is right. I think it actually probably is right. It's a two-way, this one. A two-a. I did it! Hooray! I'm gonna just suck some souls from in here. That'll heal me up to full at least. Uh, it is nice that you can just go to the spectral realm to heal if you need to a little bit. Alright, let's keep going. Progress, excellent. There's a big bell there, we're gonna leave that alone for now. And head into here. This place is a maze as fuck, by the way, like, it's really fucking confusing. Um, I don't know if I could ever play something like this with, like, a walk- without a walkthrough, like, I think it would just be, like, absolutely crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely fucking crazy, crazy shit. Well, first of all, I need to turn to the phys fucking physical realm. It's another one of these fucking things, by the way. This, get, this, this dungeon is full of just block puzzles. I told you, by the way, the, the devs of this were moist for block puzzles. Like, incredibly moist. I, I, I'm trying to grab the thing off the wall, but I can't because the animations keep getting interrupted. Fuck off! I'm just trying to grab the fucking thing off the fucking wall, dickheads! I'm not gonna be able to do it, because the game just won't let me fucking grab! Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying! I hate it! It- God, it triggers my NHD so badly, I hate it. I absolutely fucking hate it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Just kill me, so I can get full health again. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ, that was fucking awful. I hate it. I absolutely fucking hate it. Oh my god, that triggers me so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the the interrupt, the constant interruptions make me feel. S it actually makes my skin crawl in real life. I fucking hate it. Holy shit. All right, grab it. Grab the pipe. Thank you. At least I got the fucking pipe before the fucker interrupted me. Alright, he's dead. 
Um, this is gonna this this block puzzle, by the way, is the worst of all of them, from what I recall. Like it's dog shit. Much like the combat is being right now. What the fuck is going on? Fucking hit him! He's like, nah, I don't think I'll bother, actually. I'm a fucking soul reaver. I'm just gonna fucking miss the air next to him for like 20 fucking minutes. Fuck you. Get in my fucking mouth, dickhead. They're gonna spawn constantly and give me a headache. This one should be right, I think. It is not right. That one is right. Thank fuck for that. All right, okay. Right. Where am I going to push this? gonna work if I put this in here? Yes. Oh, well that is such a weird glitch where it pushes you up. Like, it's not that big a deal, but... Alright, push it forward. Push it forward. No? Here? There we go. <sighs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well... I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm trying to think, guys, but it's hard to do that when there's these assholes coming in the room. I'm going to die again here because the, for some reason I just can't fucking hit these things. Fucking... Yeah, I just can't hit them. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, they should just... I have done this three times. I have never, like, missed these enemies before. I don't know what is going on with Raziel's aim. It's just broken. I mean, it's not, it's not that big a deal. It's just annoying because I'm trying to fucking get my brain, you know what I mean, in track here. Good news is I can jump on these and suck to get the fucking souls in and then drop down, pick it up again, and then beat the fuck out of this one. Thank fuck! That's terrible! I hate this! Holy shit! The fucking block puzzles with just constant shit. Oh. It's breaking the glass, guys. So sorry for the amount of jump cuts here, but the guide I had was written by an idiot and completely told you to do the wrong shit, basically. I've been trying to run down to this fucking bell for like 20 minutes, because the guy told me to, and you don't. You have to glide, otherwise you can't make it in time. You just have to hit both bells here, that's all. There you go. Really easy, but I just wasted 20 minutes because the walkthrough was written by an idiot! And that should shatter the glass here. Giving us progress. Oh my god. Excellent. Okay. And why did I do that? Well, I will show you. I will teach you guys why I did that. I know I know why I did that. But I couldn't remember. I, 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 even though this is something I've been playing. Following a guide has been really helpful. For like my progress and stuff. Um, and But for this point, the guy was just like, just go. It's just completely wrong. It's just completely wrong. Anyway, I know what to do now. See this lovely little crank? Oh my god. By the way, imagine trying to do this without having a fucking clue what you're doing. Especially if you're a child. I feel like some of this stuff is insane. Alright, that opens a shortcut. Okay. But it closes. So we have to shift the spectral realm because that stops it closing. Okay. You see? We have to shift. Alright. 
We're going back to the physical, and you know what we have to do again, guys? I oh, know you're excited. A block puzzle again. Oh, you can't. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's ripping. I'm, I'm really, really, in, I'm really into this. I just fucked myself. I have to do that again. I'm losing my fucking mind because there's so much bullshit happening to me in this fucking playthrough. I just want to fucking. I. Okay. I'm gonna say it, and I know this is gonna upset some people, but I don't think I like this game very much. It's really fucking aged terribly. Like, some of the worst shit that I've seen in a PlayStation game ever, okay? Uh, it's it's aged terribly. It, 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 I know it's not, I'm actually playing on Dreamcast, but still, from this era. It's aged terribly, it's not fun, I don't like it, everything about it pisses me off. If this hadn't won a nomination on Patreon, I would never play it. I'm going to be honest with you, because it's really, 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 really fucking annoying to play. Like, obnoxiously so. Oh my god. Hi. I don't need to go the way I was trying to go, by the way. Oh my god. There it should be like a way of opening in this permanently. Is this it? Oh it is. I thought this was the door. I love the way things just break. Excuse me. I'm really busy right now, go away. The humans are like, really squishy. Like, super squish. The squishest of squishes. The squishest of kins. Alright, go over over here and through this door. Just swinging wildly here. Hi, how's it going? I knew you were gonna kill me, but I'll take it. Because this is gonna fuck you up. There's a health piece in there. That'll be that'll be actually our last one we need for a health upgrade, which would be pretty useful, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh great, another this is this is another block puzzle. Only the most fun things in the game for us. Oh my god, get the fuck up. Get the fuck up here so I can fucking transform, please. Okay. Perfect start, okay. All right. Okay, we're fine, everything's fine. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I want to flip it. No, I want to flip it. There we go. Well done. Okay, I think this is right. Got to get these in the right positions for a lot of flipping, okay? So, this 
This is completely incorrect, by the way. Are they spawning in here or not? I actually don't know if they are. I feel like they, they were outside the gate, right? Anyway, again, the walkthrough is completely incorrect about what to do here. So, uh, we're going to be here for fucking hours. Great. This one I can do pretty easily though, fortunately. I think this one's gonna go over here where all the legs are. By the way, I know there's not enough blocks in this room right now, but I'm gonna tell you now, it's just because, uh... I'm actually gonna try something. What does this appear to be? I can't, like... Fuck off! God, the controls annoy me so much. Um... Does this go over here? I can't really tell, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's meant to go into this wall here. I'm pretty sure it is. But I can't tell you for sure. Let's just test it out and see. Seeing as the, the walkthrough has once again abandoned us and just be, just is just making irrelevant crap. In here? Nah. Maybe this one? Oh, it was! All right. This one, I think, is just going to slot in the top left hole here, hopefully. From what I recall. Some of this is from memory. Some of this is from the walkthrough. We'll see what happens. My memory is terrible, so, you know, we'll never know for sure if it's actually going to work out or not. All right, in you go, you fuck. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, good. 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 I think this is going to go in here now. Nope. Because it's completely fucking wrong again. Let's try this side. Actually, what is on this fucking block? Anything? Okay, this is going to go over here. I tell you what it is, by the way. The walkthrough has its left and rights completely mixed up. That's what the problem is. Nope, it hasn't. It's just shit. Excellent. Well, at least I know now that the walkthrough is just... It hasn't got it mixed up. It just has no fucking idea what it's doing. Excellent. Well done. I will find a decent walkthrough. This. I'm changing walkthroughs every fucking guide. It's going to be like every fucking, every fucking session of this. I'll use a different fucking walkthrough the way this is going. Okay, hang on. No, don't do that. I think if I flip it this way now, I should be good. Okay, good. And this should work in one of these holes. I think this one. There we go. Alright, finally. Fuck. Will this just go in here? It might do. It will. Okay, good. Good! I see what I need to do. The question is, how do I do it? Alright, that will work. There we go, perfect. Got there in the end. Even with the guide getting it completely fucking wrong, we are on the right fucking track. The p 
puzzle solving skills of the mink shine through and we can go and get the health upgrade. Obviously the other um, vampires are going to respawn by the way, but that's okay. Hell yeah! Our first health upgrade! Isn't that cool? That actually is cool. I'm actually really happy about that. You're right, you're right guys. I love the way it hit me before I had a chance to even react, by the way. Oh, my health, my health bar is media now. It's very sexy. Oh, at least I managed to get this in my hand somehow. I was like, I was gonna complain about him interrupting my blade, but I guess he didn't really. Get in my belly. All right, excellent. Okay. This is the jumping back thing, yeah? Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're actually organized. We're actually fucking organized, and I'm recording, not streaming. The other day, if you guys didn't know, by the way, I accidentally streamed some of this the other day. Because I'm a professional, and I totally know what I'm doing. Belly. I guess the enemies always respawn in this, but I guess you kind of always need sort of like the resources and things like that. I have no idea what I just did. I might, I might regret that. But for now, let's just kill this fucker. And then we'll worry about that in a minute. He's gonna go up here. Oh! Fuck! I just fell. God damn it. Now that's probably the first time I've fallen because of the camera. These aren't respawning by the way, it's just the fact that the game has loads of enemies on these pipes. When it's almost impossible to fucking control what you're doing at the same time, which is excellent. EXCELLENT! Love it. Roller coaster ride of fun, is what I would describe this as. I'm just gonna run past him fucking. This is the wrong way, I just realized. Sorry, need to go this way. I missed the turning. Not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I think what we need to look for, we saw one of the locks break earlier. Here they are, okay. So we have two of these done, but we need to do two more. Okay, and we need to go through here to do that. So let's uh, phase through. Now we got a lot of combat around here from what I recall. Some real assholes. Very lucky he didn't hit me there, I'm gonna be honest with you. We have a fire we can throw them in. Hi! Hi. I mean if I can kill you all with a wraith blade, I will, like it's it's way more convenient than doing anything else. I wonder if, if I don't suck up their souls, do they come back quicker? I don't know if that's a thing or not, but you know what I mean. Mm. These things produce musical notes, I believe. I can't remember what I need to do here with them. There we go. You need to make the right note to burst the thing. There we go. Nice and easy. One more of those left to open. See you later. I'm not going to bother fighting you. 
He definitely spawned back in, though, at the very least. So, uh, we know something. Something's up. Alright. In here, we do the same thing, I believe. Except I think it's guarded by humans rather than vampies. Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. One. I think it's just exactly the same ones. But we'll find out. I can't remember. There we go. Oh my god, guys. We are actually getting- we're actually nearly through the cathedral, which is, in my opinion, genuinely one of the worst sections of the game. Like, it does get a bit easier from, uh, from after here in some ways. Um, I just really, really don't like this dungeon, I think. That's another reason I'm- I've been bitching the entire fucking time. Uh, we need to find a teleporter back to the real world, so give me a minute to look around for that. Teleporter? Te teleporter anyone? Where the fuck is a teleporter? There it is. Yeah, I need one of these so I can uh, go and open the locks. We're doing really well, actually, though. Like, this is, uh, we're nearly done with the cathedral. Not bad at all. Not a bad situation to be in. Alright, four of these. One. Two. And this should start a fan, which means we can get even higher in the cathedral. I was correct. I can't actually remember what I need to do here, I'm gonna be honest with you. Something to do with pushing pipes, I vaguely remember. But I actually don't know how to do it. What am I doing here? We do need to go this way, but I think we missed something going back. But let me kill these assholes first and then we'll... Well, I say I killed them. I don't know if I will be able to, because I just lost my fucking ability to kill them. Oh, there's a fucking... There is a throw point on the wall, but it's not going to work, because fucking throwing these fuckers is such bullshit. Like, unplayable bullshit, really. Like, I can't aim, and now they're getting stuck on each other again, which is so fucking annoying. And I can't target the one that's fucking awake. Oh my god, it's just terrible. Utterly terrible. Oh, just, you know what? Just kill me. I'll be far less stressed if you kill me, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't kill them! You Unless you have the blade, you can't kill them. Because they always interrupt your fucking attacks, they never let you fucking get the fucking killing blow in, and they're just fucked. Like, you may as well just not bother. You may as well just not bother. How am I going to get them in here if they're standing in front of each other all the time? They're just assholes. Like, it's not even fucking challenging. It's just annoying. Did, it, did that count? Did he die? I think he died. No rush, dude. Get my fucking mouth. One of them's dead, but I don't know if that's going to stay the case. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, the utter worst fucking designs ever are present in this game. Like, it's just... This is just awful! Like, I have to do this to kill them! And I can't progress unless I do this! But then they're gonna kill me! Because they're gonna just stand in front of each other for 20 fucking minutes! Holy shit! It's such bad design, it's unbelievable! And there are so many games in this era that aren't terrible with this kind of shit, but this one is utterly terrible. The other-
even want to respawn! I'm just gonna do this! Because it's impossible to kill them! Why even bother? Why even why even attempt to do anything in this game when there's enemies around? It's just a joke. Like it is a broken fucking joke, and I hate it so much. Fuck you all. Like, it's just, it's just so frustrating. Like, what am I supposed to fucking do? All I want to do is progress. But the game will never let me. Never. And now I've been hit, so it's just a waste of fucking time. As soon as you've been hit, you may as well just give up, guys. Because you haven't got the fucking blade. And they're going to just out melee you like this. For like 20 fucking minutes. I'm going to do the other thing. Fuck this. You know what? I think I missed something. I'm gonna head back because I'm I'm so I, I am so tilted. If you can tell, guys, like this is just so embarrassingly awful. Yeah, I thought I had to push these pipes together, but I don't. Oh, I do. There we go. That's what I have to do. I have to finish the connection here. I thought so, but I wanted to check. If you fall here, it's no big deal because you can just do that. The other one is up here, yeah. There we go, and then we can finish the connection. Nice, this bit, fine. I want more of this, less of any other bollocks, okay? Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm fine. I'm not angry. I'm not really, really angry. I'm only slightly angry, okay? Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm only slightly really angry, okay? I'm not even sure if I'm meant to be going this way, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. If this is the right way, there's going to be a gate. There is a gate. Thank fuck for that. Oh, there's no souls around here at all. Holy shit. So we're on top of a big organ, by the way. The church organ. Unfortunately for me. Okay. We're gonna just, we need to be in human, in uh, full form, by the way, to get through this, so. Let's just kill these, eat them, and then go back to the, uh, the normal realm. They're very delicious, those things, I will say. They're like, you know, like breakfast cereal or something. They're really, really good. Hi, guys, how's it going? You're gonna fucking hit me immediately, aren't you? Yep, you are. Oh, and this one's got wraith powers, so I'm absolutely fucked. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm running away. I'm not gonna fight any of these things anymore. Unless I've got my blade, there is literally... Oh, my fucking god. There is literally no point. There is no point. Is this a pushing puzzle? I can't remember if this is a pushing puzzle or not. I need to fucking think. Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right. I do need to kill them, but I don't think I can. Oh, I did it. I did this thing. That's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. We're fine. We're fine. We need to go into this passageway up here now. Away from the fucking... The fucking demons. Okay? Oh my god! Can you stop jumping over shit, you dickhead moron! Dickhead fuck! Jump properly! Jump! Jump! And don't fall off again! Holy shit! Everything this game is doing is triggering me! Oh my god! Oh god, okay. Another gate to face through, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We're fine, 
just need to take some deep breaths for a minute, okay? We don't ring the bell here. Ringing the bell here is a bad, bad, bad thing, okay? That's the first thing I remember from this bit. Ringing the bell is a bad thing, okay? This is the way forward. We're going the right way. Everything's fine. Oh my god, everything's not fine because you can't kill shit without your fucking arm! There's no way of even killing them in this fucking room! Oh my god! Pull it out. I don't even know what I'm doing. Pull it out, excellent. I actually genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do here, because I think I have to pull this under the pipe to do the thing, but there's there's literally no way of killing them. There is there is absolutely zero way of killing these things in this room. Like it's actually impossible. If you can keep T-posing or whatever the fuck you're doing over there, that is actually great. Because it might give me a chance to move the block like a centimeter. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, if I die, I don't really care at this point, because, again, without the blade, you, it, it's just pointless to try, you know? Oh my god, we did it, 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 fuck you. Spin it. Alright, this is the right way. We're so close. We're so close to the boss, guys. I can smell it. By the way, I want to point out, there was no teleporter at any point during this whole fucking dungeon. None. Zero. Nada. Fuck all. I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> okay. Right. We're so close. I need to jump up here. Please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. There's so many guys in the walls here, by the way. All dead and shit. I think I need to keep going up here. Alright, now what do I do? I can't remember. I can't remember. Well, I was meant to do something there, but the camera just... Jed gave up. It just was like, nah, you're moving. Don't want any movement in our video game. Alright. Oh my god, this is so frustrating to play. It's just... Every moment is a f agony. Alright. I think I need to go down here, actually. And I think we can make a shortcut here. I, I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, excellent. We made a shortcut. All right. I think we need one more wind current on those pipes back in the other room to be able to get to the boss. And I think it's here. There we go. This is it. Just don't fall off, please. 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 Yes! Yes! Okay, we've done it. There's weapons. I, should, I really do need the health. So maybe I should try and fight. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm trying to suck, but... I really want to pick up the weapon. Oh, I did it. That was completely RNG. I wasn't even trying to, it just sort of came into my hand. I feel like I didn't actually gain anything from that, but um, at least now we can kill shit. Which we're going to need to do, because we need to move the block back in the other room now to backtrack to where we were. Which isn't that very far, but it's just like, oh my god. I 
I actually don't think there's too many missable areas here, at least. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's, like, like oh, you have to come back here and walk for 20 minutes sort of thing to get to this area. I don't think there's too much missable stuff here. Which is good, because uh, I hate this place so much. That one's still kind of glitched, the other one, it seems. I really want the weapon. Oh, 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 there we go. The other one is, is, is like stuck on the roof, so we'll just keep going again. I don't know what happened to him. He just sort of like got up there and he just never came down again. Okay, one more and then we do a super jump, I think, and then we'll be good. There we go, I didn't even need to do a super- Oh, oh, there's a ledge though. The bane of existence for all vampires here. A slight ledge. Uh, we have to leave our weapon behind. It's okay though, it's okay. We are almost at the cathedral's only uh, warp room, by the way. Which is, I will say, is conveniently before the boss fight. I don't know why I did this. I didn't need to, I didn't need to come down here at all. I need to climb up here, phase through this gate, and then shift back to the real realm. Come here. Can I pick this up? I don't think I can pick stuff up right now. It is what it is. It's a shame, but it is what it is. I just heard someone scream. Like really crazy in real life he's dead is that, am i gonna avenge myself here am i gonna avenge myself i fucking am get fucked vengeance is mine against the dickhead brigade hell fucking yeah And this should take us to our final destination in this lovely abode. This should be a warp room, I think. Yeah, here we go. The only fucking warp room in the entire fucking place, but we made it to it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That took an hour and 38 minutes for me. It'll be a bit less for you, but holy shit. That is a long time. Okay, it's shaped like a spider. Alright, time for the third boss, who might kick my ass. We'll see how badly it goes. I'm excited, but also shit my pants scared as well. So this one's very fiddly, lots of moving things around, and lots of room for me to fuck up. But uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Third sibling. Beautiful, huh? The prodigal son. There is no returning for you, Raziel. Zephon, your visage becomes you. It's an appropriate reflection of your soul. And you are not his handsome Raziel anymore. His precious firstborn son turned betrayer. You have missed so many changes, little Raziel. Look around you. See how the human's weapon of destruction has become my home. 
Indeed, my body. A cocoon of brick and granite from which to watch a pupating world. A crevice in which to cower, only scuttling from the shadows to devour a victim already ensnared in your cowardly trap. But you've made the mistake of leaving me unbound, and it is you who must succumb to my will. Will, instinct, reflex action. The insect mind finds little difference. I warn you, brother. As my stature has grown, so it is matched by my appetite. Step forward, morsel. All right, boss time. So we have to do, grab his legs, which causes these eggs to come out, by the way. He's almost already killed me, which is an excellent position for us to be in. We set the egg on fire, and then we throw it at him. But I uh, pressed the wrong button and didn't throw it, which was the problem there. And I can't kill him because of the right blade. So we're going to be here a while. Yeah, uh, this fight absolutely sucks. Um, it's way too fiddly for what it is. Probably going to have to do it a few times. And that's okay. At least we can just keep sucking and coming back. Uh, you need the right blade to damage him is the biggest issue here. And every time he summons two of these spots. So it takes like 20 fucking minutes to get anywhere. Uh, you need to hit his claws with the Wraith Blade, pick up the egg, throw the egg at him, which is not the button I pressed by the way, which is completely my fault I will say. But again, very fiddly. The egg will come out in a second. Yeah, and I've lost the right blade. I mean, it's okay. You're going to lose the right blade between attacks here. Like, whatever happens, I feel. And you run closer. There we go. Three times and he's dead. It's not too bad. But, um... You have... You need the right blade. Like, oh, no, you don't need the right blade. I'm wrong. I mean, I'm often wrong. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna go back to the real realm here. I'm gonna go back to the other realm here, though. Let's be honest. Unless I'm very lucky. Throw it. One more! Holy shit, I'm going back to the realm, but that's okay. Oh, wow, you really don't need the Wraith Blade. I thought you did. I was gonna say, that's definitely gonna hit me. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm better to survive that. And that's okay, because we already need, only need one more, and the egg stays there, I think? Be good if the fucking souls got like was like right next to me, actually got into my fucking mouth there instead of being like, actually no, I think I'll just hang around. Yeah, no big deal. Leave me alone. I'm teleporting back to the real world. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Wraith. Fuck you. All right. Is the egg still there? It is. Holy shit. And I somehow missed that as well. All right, this should finish him off. I think it's three hits and then he's dead. All right, fucker. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all in the end. Third boss down. No! Consuming Zephon's apostate soul has bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise impassable, but only in the physical realm. In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you. Well, that went pretty well in the end. I'm pretty happy with how in that turned out. In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. 
Isn't that lovely? Anyway, uh, we can go and get a bunch of upgrades at this point in time, but I'm actually going to wait till I get the Telekinetic Blast ability because it unlocks so much more, and then I can spend like an hour just getting upgrades and becoming superhuman, and I think it'll be... I think I'm in a decent enough condition to keep going. Like, even though the combat's fiddly and stuff, it's not like I'm dying shitloads or anything, and I think everything's mostly fine. So we're going to just focus on continuing onwards for now. Um, there, we, we, I am going to try and get everything because it's going to make the final fight with Kane significantly easier if I do so. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see how, how that mood takes me. Okay. What we need to do is uh, teleport over to where uh, Kane was. We need to go back into the uh, cathedral. I actually can't remember which one it is, I'm going to be honest with you. It all looks the fucking same. Um... Like, I, that's the biggest problem I have with this place, right, is where is everywhere? You know, what is this? This is definitely not the right one, by the way. I don't think they appear in order either, which is incredibly annoying. Like, you have to remember what it looks like. And that's easier said than fucking done. Like, it really is. Like, could be this one. I don't fucking know. A swirly rock. I love a swirly rock. Let's see. Might be this one. Can't tell at the moment, because, uh... I think this is it. Excellent. Um, anyway, uh, basically, we need to head back to where Kane is, because in that room where we fought Kane, there is a thing we can climb to get to the new area, which is where we're going to go. We're going to go straight for brother number four, uh, and uh, his dungeon, which is called the Tomb of Seraphan. Lovely place, I'm sure. These things are bebbers now, like little bubbers. Alright, transform, da da da, to the spirit realm, and go through here. <laughs> nice relaxing stroll here though, you know what I mean? Like... No big deal. I could have just stayed in this form, I just realised I didn't even need to fucking stop. Oh well. Let's kill this fuck. I don't think your health in the demon world ever goes up. I think it's only in the physical realm where it goes up. Which I guess make kind of makes sense. I don't really know if that makes sense. I'm not an expert on Legacy of Cain lore. And also, going to get the Telekinetic Blast ability first uh, also means that um, I'll be able to... Uh, fucking... My brain is not working right now. I didn't mean to stand here, sorry. Like a corpse in a shallow grave, corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. Gosh, she's very, she's very involved. Is there actually, am I in the right place? I might not be in the right place. I genuinely don't see where I need to go and I'm a bit concerned about it. I'll be back in a minute guys anyway. I'll figure out where I need to fucking go before I do anything else, all right? Could take me a while, because this guy could just be, like, completely fucking incorrect. Because from here on out, I'm gone blind. I haven't done these bits before. So, uh... Oh, no, there it is! It is there! The guy didn't lie to me. I don't need to cut. Oh, my God. Climb. All right, so here's our new ability, by the way. It reminds me very much of Disney's Gargoyles. And it is cool. It is cool. Doesn't matter what door we take up here. We're just going to be heading directly to the tomb of uh, Seraphan. Uh, also, there should be a teleporter outside there, which is like our like our sixth one, I think, at this point. Sixth one for early access to the uh, to the area. 
very nice. Very nice. There could be enemies in the way, but I'm not going to bother fighting most of them, to be honest with you. Unless I have to, to open a door, there's no fucking point in killing shit around here. Should get through to, like, a big courtyard area. That'll do. I'll call this a big courtyard. It looks courtyardy, actually, right? This is. I've, apparently, this war room is like the one of the only ones that isn't of the ma ma uh, Once marked. impenetrably sealed, now ravaged by Nosgoth's upheavals, its mysteries lay exposed. In the time of Vorador, centuries before Cain was made, the Seraphim warrior priests waged a merciless war against the vampire tribes of Nosgoth. Emboldened by righteousness, they committed unspeakable and indiscriminate acts of violence, massacring fledglings and ancients alike. They decimated entire bloodlines in mere decades. Now their husks lay here, murderers enshrined. What's interesting is this next, uh, apparently this next boss is the easiest one in the game. But this should take us to a portal. This looks promising. Looks promising, guys. Looks promising, Nomkin. Hell yeah. Gotta remember this one. It looks like a, a a man, a bit like a knight, I guess, or something like that. Other people will be like, um, actually, Minx, this is actually a cathedral. Obviously, you fucking idiot. Well, whatever. I'm very happy with the progress here. We're gonna save our game. And we're going to continue. I think I can probably beat the tomb here pretty quickly. Oh my god, the fucking... I have no idea what's even happening right here, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Do you see? Did you fucking see that shit? Holy shit. Alright, it's fine. So here we go. <laughs> Like, blah, 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 blah. It was like a fucking enemy trying to hit me and shit, just nothing. Take heed, Raziel. A forgotten history lies within. Know thyself, though it may destroy you. Alright, we're fine. Alright, give me come on here guys, get in the valley. There you go, good, good. Hi. Fucking waiting for me, what an arsehole. Ones that have the glow, by the way, are the ones that, like, uh, can do the wraith ability and drain you. Which kind of sucks. At least these guys are weak. Like, compared to the fucking uh, other guys. Maybe I shouldn't lock on. Maybe just swinging wildly is the way to go, I'm gonna be honest with you. We need to pull this block out. As I pulled the stone free, a sigh of sepulchral air escaped the inner chamber. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. Oh, it's our brothers, look. It's the tombs, including us, I think, as well, actually. Ma Malachi and Zephon are dead, right? I don't think this is one of our brothers we're going to fight here, by the way. I think I think it's something else. These crypts, defiled caskets of seraphim saints, bearing my brother's names, and my own, the irony of Cain's blasphemous oh, act. Oh, we were all saints. Me with the crushing force of revelation. Holy shit! Were my hands not as bloody as these. Worse, I had spilled the blood of my brothers, these very comrades whose tombs lay ravaged before me. 
Yes, Raziel. You were a Seraphan, born of the same force that all but destroyed your race. Before the dawn of the Empire, you were chosen. Cain, Nosgoth's solitary self-declared monarch, plundered this tomb and raised you from these crypts. Breathing his vampiric gift into your defiled corpses, he resurrected you as his favored sons. Well, that's fucked. Really cool, though, actually. Anyway, we're going down. Down, down, down. I am going down. All right, you guys ready for the boss fight? Because that's what we're going to do right here, right now, once I kill this fucker. Oh, I didn't drink. I didn't suck the wraith. Come here. Get in. Excellent. All right, where is the teleporter back to the physical realm? There should be one around here. There we go. All right, this is where we fight the boss, by the way, this little room. We're literally going to just go straight into the boss fight here. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. There he is. Heretic, you shall not pass. Such loyalty. To one who has you guarding this outpost like a chained dog? Do you prosper on the scraps he casts you? Your insults will do nothing to blunt the agonies of your demise. Cain killed me once. Behold the result. I have no more to fear from you. All right, time for the fight. Oh, that's what that's the ability I want, by the way. But he just killed me with it because I can't jump across the fucking platform because I'm some kind of dickhead moron that just can't fucking cope with fucking basic fucking movement. Jesus Christ, that was annoying. I need your fucking health. Give me here. Give, come here. Come here. Get in the fucking stomach. I don't know how to get back up is the problem here. Oh, like that. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, it means every time I teleport back, he's just gonna fucking bombard me and I have to get lucky and not fucking die, which is garbo. Especially as there's like a massive fucking delay between this and when you fucking... Alright, we got him. He's really easy, this guy, apparently. And he's dead. Well, boss down. Nice and easy. And the new ability. Telekinetic Blast. This relic has infused you with the power to compress and manipulate space. As your symbiotic weapon, the Soul Reaver is also thus enhanced. You may focus and project an orb of kinetic energy to strike objects that are otherwise beyond your reach. Handy, huh? So we need to shoot this. As you can tell, aiming in this is going to be flawless. I think I know what I'm doing here, vaguely. I'm not quite sure what that is. Can you fuck off, please? I'm very busy right now. I think I'm going the right way. I don't actually know. 
about to find out. Yes. Alright, where the fuck am I here? Oh, I see what I have to do, I think. Camera changing here is gonna be... I think we can shoot this off, this, this block. So I can jump across that way. But lining it up... It's gonna be a problem, right? Oh, well, maybe not. Look, definitely is a problem. There we go. I kind of hit it, you know what I mean? Like, it's alright. It's kind of there. You know what I mean? It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. We're going the right way. Excellent. Should be a gate round here. Yep, here we go. I think they even sucked him. Oh, wow. This could, this could be an issue. I don't have a weapon. They hit it off me immediately. Oh, I am. Oh, there's spikes, but... Is that going to be good enough? With two of them here like this? Nope, not when the aim is that shit. It's not going to do fucking anything, is it? Let's be honest. When the aim in this game is this bad, what can you do? Huh? Hey! One down. Don't know how many more there are. Could be like ten. I think there's one in the cage as well shooting at me, right? Come here. Come here! I need you by the... I need you by the fucking spikes. If I'm actually going to have a chance of fucking beating you, you need to come to the fucking spikes like a fucking adult. Thank you. Oh my god, what the fuck happened there? Oh my god. All right, what is in here? What am I missing? Oh. Did that do anything? We can just go through and have a look, right? I well, there's a wraith there, but you know, it's just a wraith. Fuck off. Get in my mouth. Oh, it opened the passageway. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't realize that. No idea where I'm going now, but let's get back to the physical realm, I guess, as quickly as possible. I have no idea where I am now. This is all like just a huge fucking massive area. Oh, a boat. Oh, I think I know what to do here. Yeah, it means we can climb up here when we couldn't before. And get into this cave up here. Sneaky beaky. And a warp room. Very convenient. So that's four bosses down now. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Pretty happy with that. And this, guys, is going to be the time where I'm going to start doing some backtracking off camera. Grab some fucking glyphs and shit. And just, uh, you know. 
essentially, uh, we've got a bunch of shit to do now, like in terms of collecting and collectibles and things like that, and um, making sure that my character gets powered up more before we go to the next uh, dungeon, which is the Drowned Abbey, to take on uh, the fifth boss. Um, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Just so you know, right, there's only, uh, there isn't actually that much left of the whole game. There's there's seven bosses in total, and we've got four down already. So if I, we're over halfway in terms of, like, the, the, the deaths of the bosses. It, some sections, are, like, the final section, like, Kane's, like, fucking dungeon is going to take fucking ages. But um, it's not, like... We're making decent progress through the game, and I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. And I hope you guys, despite my salt, are enjoying the playthrough. And uh, I'll be back uh, once I've gone and gathered up various things. Uh, there's a few extra optional items that will give me new abilities as well that I can pick up now. And I will uh, show you how that's done and what they do once I have them. But anyway, that's going to be it for this section, so see you in a minute. Alright guys, I have just spent about an hour and a half gathering up stuff. I have, uh, first of all, um, more uh, health stuff. I've in got in unlocked magic spells. So I now have um, all these different magic spells I can use to do damage. They all cost mana to use. You can see on the top left, the mana pool. I've increased my mana pool as well a little. It's uh, It took a while. I don't actually know how useful these are. I should see what they do. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think that like damages enemies around you and stuff like that, so you can do like a big AOE attack. Anyway, we're gonna go to the uh, next dungeon, which is the Drowned Monastery. We've got water to deal with, a lot of fucking water to deal with. I'm not entirely sure where I, where I am or where I'm going right now, I'm just following the walkthrough. I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. There you go. We can open this now, which we couldn't before. Once a sanctuary against the vampire menace, this abbey has been drowned by the deluge spilling from this wounded land. The new vampire types here, snake types. Your brother types. Rahab and his brood, devastated even by the feeble rays of Nosgoth's sun, overcame their vulnerability to water and retreated from the surface. Now they haunt these ruins and glide in the darkness of its stagnant depths. I love the fucking voice acting in this. I actually really like the lore in this too. Like, there's lots of things I that I find quite janky about this game. Um, but generally speaking, right, I think there's some cool stuff as well, you know. We're going to have a lot of dying in water in this section, by the way. Uh, however, if we finish the boss here, if we kill Rahab, we get the ability to swim, which is uh, very, very handy. Whew. You can see the uh, Rahab brood vampires standing in the water there. So yeah, we get the ability to swim from this dungeon, which is uh, obviously... Oh, you motherfucker. I, I even saw that coming and I was just like, fuck. Another angle situation here, unfortunately, for me. I'm gonna have to wait for him to come at me again. God damn it. I will say, I do, the combat in this doesn't annoy the fuck out of me. It's not- if it, if it wasn't just for the fact that you had to kill them in a certain way, it would be absolutely fine. But the fact that you do have to kill them in a certain way... ...makes it very annoying. Like, the fact that that doesn't count is... ...or that doesn't count? Oh my god, this is just ridiculous! Get on the fucking wall! Oh my god, they're such assholes, they really are. But yeah, the, the, the biggest problem with this game is is the combat. It's it's just fucking awful. Like, and I can't even bait this guy away from the wall, because he's gonna just fucking... Please get on the wall. Thank fuck. Give me health. But yeah, anyway. The, the combat is the biggest problem. Like, the platforming um, is growing on me, actually. Like, uh, getting through the last few bits has been fine. Like, it's not been that big a deal.
Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going here. Oh, we got, I thought this was a fucking ghost gate thing. Definitely feel like we're going to be struggling here more so than uh, the other areas, just because the ranged attacks are going to probably always hit us. But we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. It does mean they're vulnerable once they miss once. So maybe that will work out better than like the spidery guys. But anyway. I haven't actually had to do too much in the way of, like, redoing sections of this game yet. Like, there's been a few times... Okay. Like, my character just didn't jump then. He was just like, actually, I don't think I will jump. I don't believe in it. Problem with this is I have no idea how to get that fucking water. Uh, it might be here. Yeah, there we go. This is what happens when you... I don't know if I've shown this, because I've done a lot of fucking around, like, off-camera with this shit. Um... If you fall in water, you just lose corporeal form and you have to find a thing. It's not that bad. Could be a lot worse. Biggest problem is finding shit to kill. Like, there's nothing here to drain my fucking- to get my mana back, so I'm just kind of fucked. See, eventually you might get lucky and find one, and then you can teleport back. But it, it, like I said, it's not that big a deal, it's just mainly a bit annoying. And the boss fight in this place, from what I recall, has a lot of hit the boss, get knocked off into water, do it again, time 72, and then eventually, um... You're fine, you know. But it's not that great. Might have made a bad call here. Oh shit, I didn't make- I made it. Holy shit. I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna be going here, I'm gonna be honest with you. This seems like a very questionable room. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Holy shit. If he had knocked me off, that would have been very funny for you, but it wouldn't have been funny for me. I'd have lost my fucking- life. But he's dead, so it's okay. This is actually quite a small dungeon, by the way. A lot of the time, like, you don't even have to switch to the Spectral Realm, by the way, when there's uh, a pool of water. You can just jump into it and you'll just be in the Spectral Realm, which is kind of kind of a nice thing sometimes, because a lot of the secret stuff that I've got that I haven't been showing on camera involves, like, throwing yourself into lakes of water and walking around on the bottom of them to get secrets. Once we get the new ability, though, that'll be uh, less uh, useful, unfortunately, for me. Pick it up. I'd like to take this with me, just because the Wraith Blade, while it's cool, it's very easy to lose. Let's see, we're just going to go down here. We're doing down this on purpose, by the way. Alright. We need to go up here. And this should... Whatever the fuck I'm looking for here. Oh, I see. I see what I have to do. I kind of fucked that a bit, but never mind. Up here, and then... Oh no, though. There's no fucking souls around, is there? Of course there isn't. I might get lucky. Come on. Lucky. Lucky! Oh, fuck's sake, I've got to find some fucking prick to kill. Come here! Fucks. There we go. Handy in the end. I'm 
not entirely sure what I'm looking for here, which is a little bit... Oh, this is a climbable wall? I have no idea! I want these. Ooh. 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 That was a little spicy there. Wow, this looks bollocks! Oh no! Okay, made it. That was completely legit. I didn't cheat, I promise. And I definitely haven't done that at any point off camera in this playthrough prior to this one, okay? Give me the fucking thing. Thank you. Hey, asshole. I'm trying to suck your friend. Suck him good. That projectile attack is really fucking useful, to be honest with you. Whew. We're right near the end of this, by the way, but I might need to do a few more uh, special save loads here, we'll see. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. Alright, so we made it across the platforming there. Uh, what am I looking for here? Let's go in here, maybe? Yeah, this looks promising. Ring the bell. Yeah! into some water down here I think have a little have a little nap a little nap a little swim and by that I mean no swim at all we are so close to the boss guys already this place is mainly like most of the stuff in this area is like mopping up in post to be honest with you like you get the ability right and then you can fucking first of all give me the suck give me the suck good this is the boss room I think actually So, you see this platforming here? Every time you fuck up on the boss, you're going to need to do this platforming, which I am going to do quite a reasonable amount, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't foresee a situation where this goes well for me. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. All right. Let's fucking go. Standing still for too long is a, big deal, is a big deal here. Unfortunately, you need to stand still to aim at the fucking windows we need to break to kill the boss. The idea is we flood the room with light to fuck him. Fishy boy. Raziel. Rahab, you have adapted well to your environment, for one so maladjusted. Do not mock me, Raziel. You of all of us should respect the power bestowed by a limitation overcome. Cain said you would come. You speak with the murderer? You would do well to mind your blasphemous tongue. What more did he tell you? That you would destroy me. I will indeed. But tell me, before I tear your soul from its moorings, do you know what we were before Cain spawned us? Human. Seraphan Rahab, the antithesis of all we ever believed. Does it matter? We were lost. He saved us. Saved us? From what? From ourselves. Is 
it's actually going relatively well so far. There we go. Motherfucking asshole is dead. Not too bad, just fiddly, just fiddly. Gurgle down some of that cum, okay? Infused with Rahab's soul, you have overcome your former vulnerability to water's touch. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body, enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Should we go for a little dip? Swimming controls are actually... I'm, I'm gonna regret saying this, but... Okay, that's how you swim. Alright, cool. Um, we got unlocked swimming, and now there is an absolute metric shitload of optional stuff that I can do now I have swimming. So we are going to go and do that as uh, off camera, as before, uh, and then we will all be good and going off to the ruined city, which is the location of the sick boss. Only two bosses to go. Oh my god, but i probably got an hour of picking up shit now, so uh, I'll see you then. All right, guys, I have been playing for two hours off camera. I have most of the upgrades in the game now. This will, might even be 100% run. I have every single magic, which I can use to kill the vampires, I realize, much easier than I have been, as long as I actually have some magic. Um, I also have uh, all the health upgrades bar three pieces, which will give me the final upgrade that I can't get yet because I need the sixth boss's ability to get them. And generally, I've been to a bunch of areas that were pretty cool, but I didn't record because uh, they were optional. And I don't want to get bogged down in tons of optional content when I do Metroidvanias. I don't know, like, let me know what you think. Like, I'm, 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 I guess I'm flexible on, on potentially do it showing more, but it really depends on what you guys think in the future for this type of game, alright? Anyway, we have a new area to go to, um, which is the next main story area, which is where we're going right now. We, uh, <clears throat> we're doing really well. See, my health is very chunky now, you see, it's very nice. But yeah, I had to go to a human citadel, which was full of humans panicking and running around screaming to get a bunch of items. I also had to, um, go to a lighthouse to get the sunlight, uh, spell, which is apparently the most powerful spell in the game. So, pretty cool shit, really. Like, there's a lot of stuff to see. Um, but for now brand new main story area, which is this way. I feel like you can grab that, but you can't. What you need to do is go in the water like this and do the uh, jump. There you go. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself. I got a lot of shit done. I actually really like the item collecting in it. I think I like the item collecting more than the main story dungeons, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, they, they've been fine. <sighs> Should be a warp room around here. We're in the snowy area. We're so close, guys. To the end of the game already. Feels like a long way, but it actually hasn't been that long. I need to find the water room. I'm not entirely sure where it is. It's weird that they're still throwing these enemies at me. I've come across a few new vampires in the new areas that you'll probably see sooner rather than later. But um, here's the water room. There's only three water rooms left to unlock in the entire game as well. Two now. Like, I think I'm getting down a lot of the basic stuff pretty easily. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of exploration and fucking around that is 100% optional in this. I don't know, like, how difficult or easy the game would be if you didn't get the upgrades. I can imagine you'd take a ton of damage. 
like, because the bosses do crazy damage to you. Although that said, right, the, the, the there's not many scenarios where the bosses hit you, which is the weird thing. I don't actually know if this is what I'm going to be climbing, but we'll climb this one more time anyway and see. Come here. Oh, God damn it. Get, come on, there you go. Oh, I see what I have to do. Need to get over this wall with my wings. Beautiful. This city once teemed with the life of my kind. Could it be that other clans had suffered the same fate as mine? In his madness, could Cain spare none of his brood? It was not Cain, but Dumar's own arrogance that brought the downfall of his clan. These are human weapons, Raziel. Believing themselves invincible, Dumar and his offspring fail to see an attack coming from the least likely assailants. Complacent in their arrogance, they were taken by surprise, allowing the human vampire hunters to decimate their ranks with little resistance. The few that escaped have been reduced to scavengers. Oh, what the fuck is this music? Spooky dookie. We're in a cursed place here. A cursed place. I fucking hate roads. They're dickheads. They're dickheads and bullies. Like, I'm already dead, just give me a fucking chance, you know what I mean, at survival. Yeah, right, I went to the fucking gate, what are you gonna do about it? Follow me? I mean, yes you are, because you're a wraith, but still. It's the principle. I've got to find a fucking portal back to the human world. I don't actually know what this is, it's all like... Raziel's gonna say something. Oh shit, this place is fucking huge. Got to get back to the real world somehow. Here, fantastic. I think we need to push this block. If I can actually fucking hit it. Fuck off, Adobe. They're fucking assholes, Adobe. You know that? Absolute fucking assholes. I think I've got it against the far wall there. Hmm. I think now what I can do is go through here, jump on the block that I moved, and it'll let me get to the higher level in here. I hate the way they scream like babies too, like, you picked a fight with me, fuckface. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, deal with it. There we go, that's what I wanted. So now we can go this way, back to where we originally were, and get this block. You gonna get up on you? Oh, he's in the sunlight, he's probably just gonna have a nap. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where am I doing this? Is there something above me? To where the sunlight is spilling? Hang on. There might be something above me here, and this is what this is for. Let me have a look. I'm not entirely sure. Yes. Is the answer to that? Oh god. Oh god. Fucking panic there. Whew. Fine, we're doing good, we're doing good. This place is pretty spooky, but we're doing good. Oh god, water. I know I can swim now, but it's a place of conspiracy, I swear. They just, just, I, I still get PT, oh god, I still get PTSD looking at water, but I actually don't know why, because it, it's completely irrelevant now. One thing I don't like is you have to like completely stop what you're doing 
right? And then uh, press L and jump to get out of the water. All right, we need to kill these fuckers, which is easier said than done. Potentially. All right, one down. I think I need to do stuff in both poles, pools, so let's kill them both if we can. Oh, that's my fucking great flag. Motherfucker. It's alright, it's not a big deal anymore, because I can just do... Let's do sunlight. Let's see what sunlight does. <laughs> get fucked. Get fucked, dickhead, and I get my right blade back anyway. Alright, anyway, so that's pretty cool, I think. You know what I mean? Alright. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing here because I wasn't paying attention to the cutscene it showed me when I came into the room. Is this where I'm meant to be going? I think we need to make this like four high to get up here. Yeah, we fucking do. This is going to be a challenge. So we need to push this over here, then get the second block out that pit somehow on the other side to push it over here to get up. God, it loves its block puzzles. We're so far in at this point, and the, the block puzzles, they still keep them coming. Right, is this movable? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Huh. blocks are in here? Three or just two? Okay, I think I'm probably okay to get these out then. Let's see if this works. I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to these kind of puzzles. Like, I'm relatively mid, but you know. This is block puzzle, the video game. It's it's good. The second game is nowhere near as like focused on that. It's much more focused on the combat, the second game, and, and the story of the second game. Fuck. I'm, I'm excited if we ever play the second game. I'm excited if we play uh, Blood Omen as well, because like it'd be good to play as Kane and get his side of the story too. Because we have, like I said, five games in this series. Well, sick if you count Nosgoth, but Nosgoth was discontinued and it was a multiplayer only game. Um, so you know it was uh, fucking terrible on that front. Like, I didn't have a bad time playing Nosgoth when I played it for, like, brand deals and shit, and I enjoyed playing it with my friends, but it's a shame it wasn't a single-player, you know, experience of this kind. I think that might be enough to do this, you know? Maybe I'm really overthinking this at the moment, but we'll see. I guess I have nearly everything in the game. I'm, I, I, my intention as it stands is to 100% it, unless something gets really crazy. But so far, nothing's been that... The, the most frustrating parts of the boss fights, to be honest with you. And actually, even then, not that much. Just the one boss fight. And the... Uh... Oh, fuck. God damn it, I need another one in order to get on top of this pillar in the first place. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? At least I understand the basics of what I have to do, but I might have fucked myself a bit here. I don't know. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay, so we need to get one more of these up there. Which actually I don't think is, should be too difficult. So we need to put this on top of that. No, don't climb, you fuck. It's very easy to press the wrong controls here. I always forget what I'm doing with the controls. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no, maybe. 
Oh shit, I just realized. Ah, uh, fuck, how am I gonna do this? Do I need to get the other one back down? No, uh, what I need to do is push this one, this stack forward. Like that. And then I move this one to the bottom. What happens if you fuck up this and you run out of blocks? Is that possible? I'm not sure it's possible actually. God, the music in here is creepy as fuck, by the way. By the way, we're already nearly at these areas, right? It's crazy how long the silent and shit the silent cathedral is compared to all the other dungeons. Like, it's like triple the fucking length. Like, we're not that far off the boss. Like, there's. We're not that far. Like. And there's only. There's, I just checked. There's four items left in the game that I haven't picked up. Four upgrades. Uh, one magic upgrade and three health upgrades, which will max out my health bar. Which is crazy. And I think I just did this. At least I would if he didn't like freak out a bit there. He's just like, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm Raziel. Oh my god. Alright. More block puzzles, by the way, coming up. I mean, it's alright. Like, it's not the end of the fucking world. But you're like. If I can take out people, I can take them out. It'll make life a lot easier. I can use my magic, but I don't think I have much at the moment. Like, there are, there's these pools that restore magic that you can find knocking around the game, um, but still. Alright, uh... Let's have a look around. What have we got here? I've got to find something. This is what I'm looking for, I think. Hmm. Should be a lever over here, I think. Oh, here. I'm just, I was literally just standing on it. And that should open a door, I think, somewhere. Jesus Christ, that seems a little risky. Like, I'm not an expert on, uh, on fire being dangerous, but this seems pretty dangerous. Jesus Christ, Raziel's like so fucking chill. Oh my god! push this block down and solve a puzzle. Exciting stuff. And by exciting stuff I mean the same stuff we have done close to a billion times at this point in this game. And that's okay. This area is really like fucking... Again, I don't know why the silent cathedral was so shit. Like, it just isn't bad. The rest of it is... Sorry, the, the Silent Cathedral was bad. Everything else is fine. I say everything else. I don't know how what the final the final dungeon's gonna be like, because there is another dungeon, obviously, after this. For our final battle with uh, with Kane. I have no idea how hard the last boss is, now I think about it. I think we're back near the start again. Hmm. Let me test something. I may not have needed to go to the Spectral to do this. I thought it would make the room bend, but um, apparently I'm incorrect about that. 
I know where we are though, we're above where we were, right? But we can't pull the lever. God, I was an idiot. Why did I go to Spectral? Okay, well there's a thing in there. Close one. Alright. Oh, I fucked that, I think. I did. Oh my god, that took me like fucking ten tries to get across the fucking room. Jesus Christ. I think we're nearly done with this place, like I said. There's light coming down. That means that there's a thing we can climb on and go up. The answer is correct. I like that as like a clue to what to do. Oh yeah, we are right by the sixth boss, guys. Like this is like Nearly time. The sick, the sick boss is probably... I'm trying to remember. I know you pull spears out of him, but I don't really remember much else about it. I might have fucked this, by the way. I did, because I can't... God damn it. One sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. So this will be better this time. I need to go down into this room with the big obelisk here. And give it a fucking whack. And that's the sick boss. Unlocked. One to go after this fucker's dead. So, remember the big furnace room from before? We have to lure this guy all the way back to the furnace room while My brother, his Dumas, and it sucks. a powerful warrior in life. He would have burned with shame to have me find him here like a stuck pig. Alright, here we go. Spear one. We don't need any of these, by the way. We just gotta bait him. This fight, this entire fight is baiting and dodging, which is two things I'm not particularly good at, I'm gonna be honest with you. And this is probably gonna annoy the fuck out of me, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. But, you know, it is what it is. Hi, Dumar! Let's go. Let's fucking rock. Me and you, bro. If you try and attack him, he just laughs it off. He's really strong. Unbound at last. I thank you, brother. Your thanks are premature, Dumas. I have not forgotten whose hands bore me into the abyss. The centuries in limbo have honed my strength. Not even Cain is my equal. Even the strongest vampire is vulnerable. We shall test your thesis, Raziel. My bloodthirst has been superseded by an even darker hunger. I will consume your soul before this day is done. All right, Dumas. He does like a ground pound from what I remember. Can't get too far ahead of him, otherwise he'll just go all the way back. Which is really, really fun.
entirely sure where I'm going, I'm gonna be honest with you. This might be the wrong way. Oh no, this is the right way. up here and not open the right thing. I'm sorry, like if I do, but have I have. Problem is his attacks suck and they do great damage. side though first like an idiot could be in trouble here I don't know. I'm trying to keep him in sight because if he resets but I'm in the shit Standing in the middle of the fucking idiot for some reason. Alright. Alright. Sick boss down. Just Kane left. But first, we're gonna go and get the rest of the abilities, obviously, to wrap things up and make us full power for the final confrontations. That actually was pretty easy. Um, not a bad fight at all. The whole, this whole dungeon, considering it's consuming game, Duma's soul oh, empowers you to wind a constricting band of spectral energy around your enemies. This energy manifests itself in both the spectral and material realms, and in the physical world, it can be employed to manipulate otherwise immovable objects. Exciting stuff, guys. We fucking did it. We're the pro here. And I will see you as I enter Kane's Domain, but I'm going to go and get the last four items now and max myself out for the, uh, for the final showdown. See you there. Okay, guys. I now have every single upgrade in the game, and we are going to move on to the end game. We're here in the ruined city, going to a new area. I have max health, I have all the spells. Uh, and we are going to go and take on Kane, which is going to take quite a while to get to. We do have a whole dungeon to get through to, uh, you know, uh, actually win. So we'll see how it goes. going to avoid most of these fuckers. There's no point in killing them at the moment. I don't need the health. They're kind of just in the way. So the way the Constrict ability works, which is the most recent one I've got, let me kill this fucker first because he's going to interrupt me while I'm doing it. The way the Constrict ability works is you just pick something that you want to run, that you want to Constrict, and you run around it. And eventually, it will do that. And eventually, this will open this door. There we go. Excellent. But 
Okay, we are end game here now. Not a lot left to do here. Oh my god, you fucking arsehole. Shouldn't have Why do I fight anyone? Why do I fight? Hmm? Oh, whatever. It's not that important. I don't need the blade right now. We should have here another warp point. I believe there's two left I haven't unlocked. But yeah, this is going to be a 100% completion run of Soul Reaver. I didn't expect it to be, but here we are. All done there. Excellent. really, but it is what it is, you know. There should be this. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going right now. Hmm. I think we have more block puzzles coming up. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling the block puzzles. You can see the fucking block puzzle in here. <laughs> I do love block puzzles here. Alright, we've got a guy lying down here. Hmm. Alright, let's have a look around first. Are you gonna get up? No, no, you got a weapon in you at the moment. This is going to be a really fiddly puzzle, but, um... That's fine, by the way. Don't worry, that's meant to happen. Don't know if I can push it over this guy's body. Come on. You can do it, Raziel. He's such a brave boy. He's, push He's trying so hard. I definitely would do other 3D Metroidvanias now, now I've had like a taste for this one. Like, Shadow Man would be a good one to do at some point. I'd like, really like to do Shadow Man. Um, it's a long game, but like, if you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. And like, you know, I would totally use a walkthrough, the more I think about it, you know what I mean? Alright, now we're gonna take this one, and put it in the hole we just unplugged. Don't worry, guys. It's totally understandable, all right? Don't need to do this. I love the fact that this far in, I am still struggling with the basic shit after, like, ten hours of playing this game. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I, I, this has been, like, a weird thing. So I started off not liking this game, but the more I've played, the more fun I've had. You know what I mean? I think that's really, really interesting, because usually our game start, I, I, I start off like all optimistic and shit, right, and then it's shit, and I get upset. This started off terribly, the second world of this game is garbage, but then it's actually really good after that. Which is really, really interesting, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we need to constrict the dial here. This is like the sort of puzzle, by the way, that would, if I was not using a walkthrough, that I would never figure out. Like, there's just absolutely no fucking scenario where this would, where this, I'd ever work this out. By the way, sorry if I sound like I'm in pain at all. I tweaked my back really bad, and I am in quite a lot of pain while recording right now. If I stay in one position, it's fine. But when I breathe, <laughs> which unfortunately I need to do, shockingly, right? Um, uh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit painful, and by a little bit I mean I'm in actual fucking agony at the moment. But I am doing this because I want to get this done before my day off this week. So you guys can have a nice, chunky, sexy long play. Did that actually do anything? Well, whatever. Let's constrict this again. I'm just following the fucking walkthrough. I don't understand. I am too dumb to possibly comprehend what is happening in this section here. Apparently. I'm so confused. Okay. I am so, so confused, guys. All right. I did this wrong completely. God, I'm an idiot. Apparently we've nearly figured this out, by the way. No idea how, but apparently we nearly have. I'm really glad that we are collectively geniuses. Otherwise, you know. What am I doing? Put this away. Go away. Go away. I am worried about the final fight with Kane. Like, I've heard it's really tough. Um, he is literally the only boss fight left in the game now. Um, I've no idea how difficult it's going to be. I think it is a repeat of the first one, but you need to have the Wraith Blade to hit him. Otherwise, he doesn't take damage, so you have to be on full health all the time, which sucks. Apparently, having the spell, the Sunlight spell, which is the most powerful spell, which I do have, you can use it to significantly make it easier by stunning him so he can't shoot you like he did in the first fight. So, fingers crossed that that's the case. We did it, by the way. We solved the puzzle. And that should open everything up, I believe. Yeah! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't think you guys have seen these vampires before. So these ones were really prevalent in the lighthouse area that I did optionally. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I could just fucking kill you. I should probably have inhaled their souls. Yeah, I'm an idiot. It's okay, though. It's okay to be an idiot sometimes. Don't you fucking attack me while I'm fucking phasing through a gate, you fuck. God, going for you when you're your most vulnerable. What a horrific strategy. Oh, God. Whew. Like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> All right. All 
All right, we need to get this guy's weapon, unfortunately for us, so we're going to uh, take the weapon and kill him with it, and then take it back, because we've got a block puzzle, and we're going to be under attack while we're doing it, and if we don't have a practical weapon, there's no fucking way I'm surviving long enough to be able to fucking do it, so... Uh... Hmm... This looks a lot simpler than it is. I think. Let me test this, because we can't push it right, but we can just shoot it. I'll put this down for a second. I think that worked. I think this is just going to be like, open these and we're done. Yeah, that was really fucking easy. More block puzzles like that, please. Where's the fucking? Where did the weapon go? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, it's okay. It's all right. It's not a big deal. How many are in here? I need you to line up with me. Come on, follow me. All right. I don't, need, I don't know why I worry about weapons anymore. I've got the fucking sunlight spell. I can do what the fuck I want, to be honest with you. Like, with absolutely almost zero consequences for my actions at this point in time. I'm gonna be honest with you. The sunlight spell is so ridiculously overpowered. It just kills everything in the game. All right, so we have four constrictable pillars here. You see those little markers for the constrictability? Uh, all right. Do we have anything on these? Okay, we have these. Okay, so I'm gonna guess we need to make these face the middle of the room, these uh, chunky bits. It's a little fiddly, this. Okay, that worked. Yeah, the constricts, I've noticed, like, I had to do quite a lot of constricting, obviously, to get the final few items. And sometimes it just doesn't seem to register too much. Like, I think it's just it's just because, like, of the nature of the hitboxes and shing things. It's not like it's not like it's unplayable, as you can see, but it can be a little fiddly. I haven't like there was like one that I found really difficult to do, and I don't know why it did it, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, that did something, but not in this room, by the looks of things. What's this? Hmm. I don't like that sound. Alright, I think we have to go all the way back now, anyway. So, uh, we got a long way to go. Question is, where the fuck am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay, cool. Listen, I'm trying to fucking... I think I'm going the wrong way, but whatever. Just come in. Yeah, I didn't actually need to come up here. I don't know why I did that. I need to go out here instead. I'm an idiot. But we already established this, so it's fine. Can you can you leave me alone while I'm trying to run around like a dickhead, please? I need to go all the way back this way. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but we'll see. Hang on. Where was the room that I got into to get here in the first place? I am very confused. Was it in here? 
It was, but we need to do this to go through. Yeah, open up. I think that has opened a door somewhere. Couldn't tell you where. That's the portal. Oh, I'm, I'm, this is back the way I came. I'm so confused. There should... Did you just respawn because I went through a door? You fucking asshole! You know what? Fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. That's right. You're on fire. What are you going to fucking do about it now, huh? It's like a dick. Alright, this is where I need the to The Oracle's Cave, where Cain's first fateful meeting with Mobius occurred. Mobius played the role of a doddering soothsayer. Stirring his pot of visions while dispensing enigmatic predictions to gullible visitors. Underneath the facade was Mobius the Time Streamer, sorcerer of the Circle of Nine, a ruthless manipulator with the power to bend time. Since his murder at Cain's hand centuries ago, these caves have stood vacant, though, like Mobius himself, they are rumored to be only a facade for a much larger, more elaborate complex. Mobius is going to be. If we play through all the games, you'll see a lot I more of Mobius. That Kane just not was this here. One. Just not and this at one. that moment, I would have plumbed the depths of hell to find him. Wow, well, Raziel getting all fired up. We are getting very close to the conclusion here. Still a little bit to go. But we're making good progress. So far this dungeon's been fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Like, without a walkthrough, probably would have really struggled, but... With a walkthrough, you know, it's totally fine. That statue scared the fuck out of me, I'm gonna be honest with you. This, I deduced, must be the man himself. The time streamer, Mobius. He seemed not at all the impressive figure I had imagined from Kane's boasted exploits. And yet, even this cold image radiated a certain undeniable power. This is going to be a lot of puzzles, by the way. A lot of shite puzzles, I'm going to be honest with you, to get through this last bit. The vagina is opened. Beautiful. Hmm. We need to constrict these two until we get a uh, a purple beam, I believe. This is really fiddly, this bit. I don't like this. Will red and blue make purple? It should do, right? Yeah, there we go. Why does it sometimes, like, fart? Oh my god, this is awful. Come on. You can do it, Raziel, I believe in you. I feel like this is definitely wrong. But, let's see. If we make this red... Okay, we did that one too. And then the last one? No idea if this is actually working or not. 
but we'll uh, we'll fiddle, figure it figure it out and make this one blue, right? Oh my god, it did the fiddly fail. Why? Do I have to go the other way? Raziel, why are you trying to push it? You get very excited, Raz. It's okay, I understand. We're near the end. It's been an epic adventure. Apparently we solved it. I have no idea what happened there. I guess we were just matching the colors. Seems relatively simple enough, I will say. I guess we're going through here. <sighs> I will eat that, thank you. Uh, anyway, um... God, we're so fucking OP, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. So red, blue, yellow is the order we need. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing here. What the fuck? Did that do anything? I'm gonna just try it. Hang on. I don't think that worked, right? It was like, no. Oh my god, game. The constrictability is very fiddly. I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, maybe it is. I think so. And then we do the yellow? The yellow is like the back one. Okay, yeah, the yellow is definitely blocking it now. So if we go back two, I think it will unblock it. Just keep going until the yellow's unblocked, anyway. Alright, that looks like a three hole there. Is this not right? Oh, there's a fucking- oh my god! I just realized, there's a fucking door bit! There's like a massive fucking door! Oh my god, Raziel, stop humping shit! It's been a while, I understand. I get what we have to do. There's an actual door, not just the hole. The hole's gonna be for another puzzle. Alright, one more. One more should do it for the red. Alright, red is done. Excellent. Now blue. The video is this. <laughs> this is the bulk of the entire. F <laughs> this. <laughs> it's like I'm playing on ice. I swear. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad. It's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. One more. <laughs> But yeah, genuinely, this started off like a game I didn't like, and now I, I actually really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to playing the others if they win some polls. Get on Patreon, guys. Get subscribed. Five bucks or more. And nominate shit. Really, really is amazing. We give you unprecedented, unprecedented control over the playthroughs on this channel. I don't like the little creepy voices in this area, I will say. I'm nearly out of uh, mana, which is a bit of a bugger. But that was a wraith one. Oh, I got some mana back at least. Give me it. Uh, I've only got four mana now, so I can't do any more magic. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, that's not that big a deal. 
Oh, actually, it is a big deal because I can't get back up there. Fuck. Yeah, that little weird sort of like... Don't like that. Oh, you died from the sun as well. I didn't realize. Oh, I'm alright with that, actually. This is a problem, though, because I don't have a weapon. And it sounds to me like there are multiple... Actually, the sound in this is, like, kind of broken, so, like, it's a bit hard to tell. I will say, by the way, after playing all three different versions of this, the, the Dreamcast version is... By miles, the best version of the game. Like, it's night and day how good it is compared to some of the other shit. Like, the PlayStation version runs and looks like absolute fucking ass compared to the Dreamcast version. It's so... This version is so slick. It's so much better. Like, if you have to play a version of this game, play the Dreamcast version. It's so much better than the others. Like, it's bet The PC version's fucked as well. Oh, God. Hmm. Alright, I think I need to get these blocks out of the way. Like, it seems like this might be stopping this me mechanism from working. Oh, I thought they were, like, part of the mechanism bit, but I don't think they are. Oh, this is easy. We just push these and then pull this one back. I will say, the platforming in this is actually pretty good, uh, pretty lenient too. Like, the cam- once you get over the, like, fucking awful camera angles, you're fine. You know? I'm not entirely sure where I should be going here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm guessing that's right? Oh, it definitely is. Jesus. Throwing me in the deep end. I don't know why I'm trying to fight these guys. I've got nothing to kill them with. I don't know what I'm going to do here, because I need to knock this block off. But he's going to... Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. Might need to go to the other realm for a little bit here. I have no mana at the moment, so, like, you know. Alright, so we have a Chirilim here with Wraith abilities, and I don't think any way to kill him. Which, uh... Could be a significant bugger, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what, let's go to this world. Oh, I do have the fire thing, actually. But whatever, let's give it a suck here. Let's get the blade, and hopefully I can get him before he damages me. The unlikely, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh shit, I did it! Yeah, get fucked! Give me that soul. Alright. I think this is like the last puzzle of the game, guys, genuinely. Alright, okay. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure this one literally just goes here, so let's do that one first. I'm guessing we ha it's like that. Okay. Hmm. Can I not pull it back? Oh, I can't, though. All right, so let's see. And then that should go here, right? Oh, I quite like this. This is the best part one we've had in the entire fucking game so far. I think this literally goes here. So that's nice and easy. Yep. Yeah. And then this one... 
is going to need to be changed. Hmm. I need some room. Well, can I do it from here? Nah, I can't. Fuck. Alright, I need to a, a spot to do it. So it's going to be front. Left. And then I can't do it from here. I need to pull it out. One. And then flip it again. And then drag it back. And that should be it, right? Yeah. Easy! Crazy. I'm going to drop a save here. I haven't been doing too many saves, I will say, in the way this is done. And I'm going to be honest with you, like... I don't know. Like, the saving system in this is kind of... It's, it's, if it wasn't for save states, this would have been a pretty difficult game to get through as well. But you can get back. Why would I want to do that? Gonna be some enemies, surely, yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter if you damage me, you fuck, because there's fucking spears in here. Oh, this room looks like... Cool. This is probably... Could be quite complicated. These guys suck because they, they do a ton of damage to you, like, comparatively speaking to the other breeds. I think these are Kane's, like, like, buddies, you know what I mean? Like, his, uh, what's the right term? I don't fucking know. Cohorts brood. Okay. I don't really understand this, to be honest with you. This doesn't look like any of the symbols on the floor here. I don't I don't get it. Alright, so we have three switches. Was there a clue in here, maybe? Oh, there is. I don't really understand still. Z circle cross. Let's look at the Z one again. I don't know if I'm just being a complete moron or not. I think that's right, actually, right? It connects to the two. So we have the circle and the down. Yeah, so our triangle needs to match up with, like, the N. So let's find that. There's the triangle. That is not the N. Okay, yeah. I get it. And then the last one should match up with this square thing. I don't know which way around it needs to go, to be honest with you. Well, apparently that's the way around it needs to go. Oh, a leather. I think I need to do this in every room. I don't like those noises. Like these these are like making noises like they're alive, which is utterly horrific. <laughs> Alright, and then one more. I hope this isn't timed. If it's timed, I'm fucked. Door. Oh, I know where that is too. Excellent, because I actually paid attention to my surroundings for once. Shocking, I know. All right, we are. This is it, pretty much, guys. Um, should be the last warp gate in here in the game. Oh, 
Hope I don't miss the board gate, that would suck. I'm gonna drop a save here in case I do, actually. Not that I would know how to do a special save on this game, obviously. Going into the final fight on no health with no magic is a... a bold move, I feel. Well, I think I did it without getting the last warp gate, but fuck it. My arrival in this miserable age. What trickery is this? It is no illusion, Raziel but a glimpse into the currents of time itself. Oh, maybe I will get a chance to uh, go through a portal test. I really wanted to get it just for the completion. This, is this just going to be, take me back out, or is this going to be... I don't want to go in yet! I know it's exciting. Oh, okay, I guess we just keep going and we eventually we see these cutscenes. These are like... Oh, this isn't like a portal, it's like doors to our past and shit. It's like shit that's gone on. In incredibly low These resolution. These apparitions torment me. Has this all been foretold? Listen, Rasta, it's okay, all right? Yeah, I guess these, we're meant to just be witnessing these at the moment. Witnessing the shitnessing. I guess we just keep going and eventually... It'll be like, oh, you've seen enough now. Oh, did I actually go back this time? I'm curious if I did. Oh, I did. Fuck. I didn't actually mean to. All right, so there is a set way forward at least. Doesn't seem to be any uh, thing else at the moment except these. So let's just keep going around and hopefully, eventually we will find our way to a boss of some description. It's the second one. But yeah, we're gonna see all the events that we witnessed, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Ah, uh, we are. Yep, that's another one. There's us realizing what we are. We were beautiful Impossible. angels. Impossible! This must be one of Kane's deceptions. Except it wasn't. <laughs> I'm so- I'm pathetically excited about seeing the rest of this series in full. Like, I have beaten Sorry for 2, by the way, but I've never beaten Blood Omen 1 or 2. Um, although Blood Omen 2 I played a bit and I liked it. Um, I rented it, I think, at the time. Uh, I've never played Defiance, which is the final one. Defiance is like the, uh... The conclusion, because in Defiance... Oh, actually, I don't want to spoil it. Fuck it, I won't spoil it. I'll be, I'll be a good kin. I think I'm going the right way. Anyways, this hasn't happened yet, right? This isn't gonna happen, though. This is this is My probably mind reels with conflict. Does Cain await me moments from now, or in some century yet to come? So that's about to happen. That's what. The, that's the fight we're about to have. 
Kane is jacked compared to us, by the way. I can't believe he was jealous. Like, he's just like fucking ripped as fuck. Basically, I mean, a lot of this just happened because Kane was jealous of us. You know what I mean? Raziel isn't like a fucking nice guy, by the way. He was fucking killing all these people and shit after Kane resurrected him. He was like, oh, yes, Kane chant. And then Kane was like, actually, you're better looking than me, so I'm going to kill you. Like, literally, that's the plot. I know there's a bit more to it than that, but I like I like that headcanon, okay? I'm dreading this final boss fight. I think I'm going to get angry, but we'll see. I don't have any magic is my main worry. Why are we killing this chick? This cannot be. What madness does this scene portend? Wow, it's a big word. Kane must think me credulous to suffer these lies. I would be really happy though to... I'm very proud of getting through this, considering how much effort this took. Half the battle with being a channel that covers so much retro stuff is getting the shit to work. Like, it's crazy some of the stuff that we have working and things, you know, really. Is this phantasm a conjuration of my mind, or an echo of future events? We must be. We must be. We must be near the final. The final conclusion now. Yes. Okay. This is true. One hundred percent. We found everything. This is the only thing I hadn't found was the last warp door. It's kind of a waste of time activating it, to be honest with you. But I guess if I get really stuck. But I mean, what am I going to do if I get really stuck? I've got everything in the game. I guess I could go and get magic and charge my magic up to max. In fact. It might be a good idea. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I just think it makes a lot of sense to do this quickly. Now I've unlocked it. Am I going the wrong fucking way? Because there is a magic charger, I believe at the bottom of the pit here um where tentacle man lives and that just it just makes sense to be maxed out on health and magic when we go into fight kane it'll make my life a lot easier i've been here so many fucking times in this playthrough now at this point is it only here in the real world In the furthermost canyon of oh, Nazgoth's this is where he tells you what to do. Wastes, I haven't done this at all. The hushed silences embrace an ancient enigma. In the bowels of this labyrinth, your master awaits. Wow. I do love me some bowels. Well, this was a waste of fucking time because I can't shift to the fucking material realm. Oh, maybe I can now, actually. I could have just fucked myself. I did make a save, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, you can't just come here and shift, which is really annoying. Oh well. Never mind then. Now I need to find a portal back, though. Which... 
Why did I do this? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I mean, I'm not happy that I couldn't get my magic back, but oh, well, that is what it is. Oh, it gave me full health at least. That's something. That that was probably worth it. Might get a chance. We have to hit Kane three times. I know that. And we're going to spend a lot of time just fucking around. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Time for the showdown with Kane. Let's go. Let's finish this battle. And finish the game. Once and for all. Kane Chan, I'm home. At last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me. Did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Yeah. Did it trouble dickheads. you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. God, he likes to, talk, to see its he, paths hey? and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden. His jeans truths. are like painted on as well. Holy shit. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel, with all your soul, how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Very poetic, Cain. But in the end, you offer no more than a convenient Off. rationalization for your crimes. These chambers offer insight for those patient enough to look. In your haste to find me, perhaps you have not gazed deeply enough. Can we see inside his head? Our futures nah. are predestined. Mobius foretold mine a millennium ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. We are compelled ineluctably down preordained paths. Free will is an illusion. I have been to the tomb of Seraphan Cain. Your dirty secret is exposed. How could you transform a Seraphan priest into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Can you grasp the absurd beauty of the paradox? We are the same. Seraphan and vampire. With our holy wars, our obsession with Nosgoth's domination, who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? I will not applaud your clever blasphemy. The Seraphan were saviors, defending Nosgoth from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Seraphan were noble? Altruistic? <laughs> Don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. You are lost in a maze of moral relativism, Cain. These apparitions and portents. What game are you playing now? Destiny is a game, is it not? And now, you await my latest move. All right, here we go. Well, that's one hit already. Good start. I've got to find him, which unfortunately means... Nope, he's getting owned. Ooh. 
Yes, two! But now I need to do three to get to the final area. This is not going to work out, I don't think. The problem is, I don't know where he is. Like, I had no idea he was over there. How am I gonna do this? I actually don't know. Just get lucky? I was heading the right way, but... Oh, I tell you what I can do. I'm an idiot. I need him to be in one of these ones in front of me if I'm going to have a chance. Stand in the fucking thing. Oh my god, Raziel! Does he ever stand in these ones? He is just standing in the same two fucking ones, as far as I can tell. Oh, he's hard to see. Is he just going in the same one again and again and again? Got him! And I beat the boss. That's it. That was a good strat. I kind of like duked him into staying in one place, it seemed. And maybe he just stays in one place, but whatever, I won, so I don't really care. I think that's it. Yeah. You nearly had me, Raziel. But this is not where or how it ends. Nope, we've got another game to Fate play. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. We are going to go through time together here, I think. <laughs> Be warned, Raziel. Once you cross this threshold, you are beyond my influence. Don't care. Fuck off. So this is literally Sorry River 2 is what is what's this gonna be on the side of this gate. Um so the the second game picks up pretty much immediately after this. It's on PS2 though, so it looks a lot nicer than this, <laughs> to be honest with you. Here's Mobius! Fucking dickhead, Raziel, by the way. <laughs> Redeemer and destroyer. Pawn and messiah. Welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. And that's Mobius, who we will find out a lot more about in the other games. Where time is but a loop. A loose stitch in the universal cloth. A streamer might seize upon a, a chance, a fatal slip, and plunge the fate of planets into chaos. To be continued. We beat it! We beat so- I'm so proud. We beat so- we 100 percent Soul Reaver, something I never thought I'd fucking do. Very chuffed by this. Anyway, that was Soul Reaver, um, Legacy of Cain. Uh, there are four more of these to play. Um, if you want to see them, get going to our Patreon and nominating which ones you'd like to see. We have Blood Omen 1 and 2, we have Soul Reaver 2, and we have uh, Defiance. Although I probably wouldn't accept Defiance's nomination until the other ones were done, seeing as it's the conclusion of the story. But if you want to see them, five bucks or more to get nominating. If you really want to treat yourself, you can, there's, there is now a one-off tier where you can subscribe for, I think, two months. Um, and each month we will play a playthrough that you tell us to play within certain rules. So uh, consider subscribing to that if you are an amazing, beautiful nomkin. And um, I will see you really, really fucking soon for uh, more um, 
long plays. Next up is Siberia, the first one we'll be playing. Um, I know a lot of you are wondering where Chrism is. She was probably in a video by the time you see this one. Um, but um, she's going to be taking it a little easy in and out of videos for a while until she uh, is healthy fully. She's, she's definitely better and she'll be in videos more. But, you know, um, we don't want to push her and make her feel sick again. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this. This was... I really ended up liking it. I hated this to begin with, but then did ended up liking it. So, uh, there you go. That is the conclusion of this. Uh, yeah. Um, lots of more cool stuff to come. Lots more exciting stuff to come this month. Thank you for being beautiful and fantastic and wonderful as you normally are. And, um, yeah. I believe at the time of recording, we have quite a long way to go on our Patreon this month to hit goals. Even a dollar genuinely allows us to keep doing this and keep the lights on and basically allow this channel to keep making content. Consider pledging even a buck, but obviously there is much more available there if you want to get invested and uh, be a bigger part of the community here. Thanks for being beautiful. We will see you guys in the very next video. If there's an end screen thing, I'll show it. If not, it's going to be the end of me talking now. But uh, bye, guys.